So wait, so where did I miss last session? Hmm. Battle. Battle. There we go, and that's all the information you're getting. <laughs> it was all. It was just combat. Nothing but. Hello, psycho. Oh, I lost a. Psycho, you there? I lost a piece yeah, of ruins in the yeah. corner of the table and didn't notice. Quiet there. <gasps> oh, pardon. What's that? I said being a bit quiet there. All right, guys. So you'll notice I put some maps in the corner. We're gonna be focused there. I've moved all of your figurines onto the corner map, which is a reproduction of the old map. Okay. You see where I'm at? I'll ping it. I'll ping it for you. You're not even on the table, so it doesn't matter. But if you're looking at the stream, you'll see it. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Possibly. So, just FYI, um, there's a possibility well I might need to come and go uh, oh. the kids tonight. Uh, okay. Uh, my wife is back one out. She can be knocked out on meds. So I'm kind of on kid duty as well. Those little snot bags causing trouble again. There's a bunch of downtime in between turns, so hopefully it won't uh, interfere too much. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do is I'll play my turn, and then I'll just mute myself and listen to myself and check out with guys. Joining short rest. Oh. Did, did we take a longer or a short rest last um last session? Mm, no, we were just coming back from town. Ah, okay. No, last session we were fighting a water demon. Yeah, but we didn't take any rests before fighting the water demon and the beholder. We came from town. No, so, uh, we didn't. Right, we were. Yeah, right, right. We were well rested. From town. Yeah. Uh, we were in town for two so weeks. We... Two weeks in town. So a rest did happen, okay. Yep. Uh. <laughs> Joe, I had a quick question about uh, items that don't intrinsically cast a spell. Like, I know items that intrinsically cast a spell, if the spell concentration it comes from the item. But what about spells that this, it's charged with, uh, an item that's charged with a spell? Like, they can be changed, like the, the gloves or that ring. If the spell has concentration, is it the item that still maintains it, or is it whoever was using the item that maintains the concentration? Who's using the item? <laughs> Okay. That's a weird one, because if it says it requires concentration, that means you have to concentrate on it. So, yeah. I think that's one of the cases right. where it's, you do have to concentrate. Okay. So if it's a wand that just happens to have a effect that has a duration that has concentration, it's technically the wand that's concentrating? Yeah, the wand does concentrate on it if it's like that. Hi, Long. Okay. So, just making sure I had it right. It's weird rules when it comes to stuff like that. Hmm. Um, where are my character sheets? Uh, so, just to let everyone know, me and Ninja worked on a new spell. Oh? Yes. A spell? Yes. You guys have learned instant. <laughs> that guy now knows instant transmission. Instant transmission? What is that? Dragon Ball Z. Never seen it. Illusion of the Holy Bastard. <laughs> Maybe, one Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Illusion of the Holy Bastard. Uh, <laughs> Um, I like how you did that. Is there a reason all this stuff is like in the middle of the table? Oh fuck! Uh, I was wondering what, what happened there. Uh, remove it. Undo. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Refresh the map. What have you done, my guy? What have you done? Well, well, I was trying to load in something, but uh, I think this. I think tabletop has changed it. It loads all over the table in the middle of my dungeon setup. What have you done? I was trying to load it all in. I was trying to load in, load in one thing. But first I had to expand it, but no, it just loaded everything in for some reason. Man, this echo is unbearable. You're gonna have to uh I'm just gonna mute reset it. I'm gonna mute see you for a while. 
Yes. Holy crap. <laughs> he still makes he's still making Rule now. I it's thought just, he was Jar Rule now. It's just the constant noise. I can't take it. Uh, yeah. Um... I got a 4K monitor now. Oh, it's so beautiful, guys. I highly recommend it. It's mm. so lovely. Well, I'm, uh, I'm having my company expense a new computer this year. It just so happens that the computer the company is buying me is going to have a very large graphic card in it. Just total coincidence. How large is it? Is it an RTX uh, card? You're gonna be able to look at those uh -oh. high-end audio. Think I just heard a kid. Hello. Yep. Hello. New person. No, it's Sia. Uh, let it's me let me unmute name. him, even though his audio sounds fucking awful all the time. Hold on, one of my kids is crying. I'll be That's right back. <laughs> Wait, did you did you just call Caster Blaster Sia? No. No. Oh, we said that you are Sia because he asked who the new guy is, which right. is you. This is the name. <clears throat> this is why I constantly change my name. <laughs> What's well, confuse everyone and make us all hate you? <laughs> is it working? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is working. Alright, I rolled it back to the auto-save. Try not to fuck it up on me. Hmm, I'll don't, try. Don't, uh, don't load anything. Let me save the game as it is here, because I made some changes and edits and things. I don't need you breaking all my, like, 12 hours of work here, damn it. <laughs> it's only a number. It's Are looking like everyone's able to load I in quite nicely. I just finished loading the table. <laughs> yeah, except for long. <laughs> Let me know when you've saved... Actually, no, I should probably put this... Do what I want to do first, and then you can save. So what is this new spell, by the way? It's like a... Um, it's like a centralized smoke bomb. I'll, uh... Did you already have something that does that? I do, but this one won't affect you guys as well. It'll only affect me. Oh, okay. Uh, I've made a card, uh, like a spell card with it. Uh, if you want to see it, come over to my table. Is it supposed to be like some kind of illusion magic? Uh, conjuration magic. It creates the smoke, but centralizes it on the caster. Like, I mean, location wise, yes, the smoke is around you. Yes. But, like, what, what about this spell makes it so that it doesn't affect us? The fact that the smoke only fills a five foot cube and it moves with the caster. Oh, okay. <laughs> like if I throw a, if I throw a smoke bomb, you guys won't be able to see, which is really fucking annoying. Which is why I've never done it. But if I have this spell, then I don't need to, uh, you know, I don't have to hold back, as it were. Alright, okay. now that all you guys I'm are on the table, now. I can ping over here in the corner, and you can see what, what I'm actually talking about. And we got the, the old map the in the corner room? here. Oh yeah, okay. Wait, this is all still on the first floor, right? The first floor, right. You were having a battle with a wastrolith in the, <laughs> the, the gross nesting corner back here. Oh man, the, the, the other two floors are fine. So you guys haven't quite finished floor one. But I've constructed floor two, if you can get to that. <laughs> Do the enemies get harder? Yes. The more... oh. No, no, they get easier as we go deeper into the... Yes, of course they get harder. The final boss is just a goblin. <laughs> or a nilbog. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. I was going to make an interaction joke, but never mind. <laughs> 
I've got two Hand of Life buff cards here. Hey, is the map so be like this? Can't see anything. Uh, you're supposed to be looking in the, in the corner. corner of the table over here. If you're looking at the center of the table, you're looking at floor two. You're not on floor two. Oh. Floor two may or may not exist. It is Schrodinger's really? floor. Well, I mean, didn't you find a staircase? It doesn't mean Wait, anything. That guy already makes an illusion, and as soon as we walk into it, we just smack right in our face, kind of like the Wily e. Coyote uh, tunnel. Hmm. What, did Matt got already use his armor teleport thing? It's just a thousand foot cliff. It looks like stairs. Now we've got it back. Oh, okay. How do you guys? Oh, so like how many? How many? Twenty d six fall damage. <laughs> how many? How many hit points would I have? It's level six. Mad God. What? See Ninja. I, I have Evil. a a logical uh. I don't know, like. Quarry, I don't know, problem with, with your spell, like, so the whole point of, like, obscurity is so, like, you're in it, and then they yeah. can't see where you are, yeah. and, uh, it makes it hard for them to hit you, but if yeah. it's only, like, a five-foot square, and it's always moving around with you, aren't they like, well, this is your exact position, you're just now at Now, he doesn't cast it on himself, he casts it on enemies. No, I cast it on myself. Yeah, I don't know if this is allowed, but I'm a <laughs> I'm a blood hunter. I'm, I can go into like a half state. The cube fills the entirety of the the oh, entirety wow. of the five foot cube is covered. So they still uh, okay. since they still can't see me, they're still blinded. Okay. Well, they can still shoot at the little cloud that's buzzing around with disadvantage. I mean, that's no problem. Yeah, they can they can yeah, still do uh, that. But thanks that to my helmet, I can see. Spell displacement then. It's not. <laughs> okay. Except that he can control it. He can move it around if he chooses. He can put it on other people. As a bonus action, I can put it onto other people. But if it's a uh, enemy, then they have to make a dex. So it's a higher level than displacement. Then. Got it. What is dis? What is displacement? Displacement is is the same effect as displacement beast. It's had various effects in different games, but I believe in five e. It just gives disadvantage on all attack rolls to you. Uh, that could be incorrect. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I looked it up. While you there's a cloak of displacement. When you wear uh, while you wear this cloak, it projects an illusion that makes you appear to be standing in a place near your actual location, causing any creature to have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. If you take damage, the property it ceases to function until the start of your next turn. This property is suppressed while you are incapacitated or strange. Blah 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 blah. So there's an old school um, D and D care, uh, monster. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. Called Displacer Beast. It looks like a puma with tentacles. Those still exist. I mean, it's not that game breaking. I mean, you can think of it. All, it it's kind of just a weird division of darkness. I could do. The, I could accomplish the exact same thing with Devil Sight and Darkness. Yeah. And Ja, all so right, Ja, your fine. question. Just... You you just have to roll a hit dice for what your class is. Your class determines what your hit dice is, and then you just roll a dice and add it to your maximum hit points. What type of what type of hit dice do fighters get? Because I'm D10. Very more than five. Okay. So two. You switching like a new character? And, no, it's the same character. And uh, your Constitution modifier, you get to add that oh, to the D10 that him. you roll. To both D10s. Oh, no, I'm you sorry. The average. Did you gain two levels? Which is a six. Yes. All right. If you gain two levels, right, yeah, which... you would roll two D10 and add your Con modifier twice. All right. So, what's going on? Well, uh, everybody so, uh, was in the darkest dungeon fighting a demon. Uh, does, does someone have an effect that lasts ten turns? Yes. Ooh. I have an effect that lasts eight hours. I'm pretty sure, because this is my Hand Wait. of Light buff. Since me and Jar weren't here last time. I'm pretty sure somebody um, just copied Hand of Light for this other effect that lasts for a minute. Before. But Wait, what we... effect? Is it my effect? Is well, it... If you don't remember what it was, it doesn't exist anymore, and you don't have it. No, Whatever it, it was, it must was have been cool. my potion of haze. Oh, no, you definitely don't have that anymore. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Why is all their stuff gone? I drank another one for this fight, too. <laughs> you might have. I'll go it's, to... Uh, 
It's it's how I ran all the way from like here, all the way around to here. Also used Battle Ballad and then Smack the Thing really hard. All right. Does Mad God have one of those too? Is that why he's got this over here, or is that your one? No, I don't have Shit. one. It'd be right. mine. So then we're gonna put this over here because this is long. He's got uh, he's got nine more turns of haste. He's not sure. Just so Mad God's not confused by your counters. I'm no not one was sure black. What this no one is I'm not bolted. sure what this one is. It should be one of my other buffs. I think it's my solo buff. Battle ballad. No, are we battle ballad is this two. Are we using battle ballad? I think we are. We are. But you have a different counter for that. Yeah, it, yeah it's in the middle. I don't. I'm I trying don't to know get what on this hand of light is. I'm trying to get onto Ninja's old stream, but it's kind of determined on keeping me on the one he's currently viewing, uh, streaming. So how the hell do I get onto his old streams? You don't. Uh, uh, you could go to my uh, account, I think, and they have like the, the old streams on there if you wanted to watch the one from last week. Yeah. Speaking of Twitch, did you guys I ever heard of Twitch Prime? Did you call it yep. Town Time Shenanigans Part 2? <laughs> No, that's probably right. my Saturday game. No, th this is our game. Is I just it? have to find. Yeah, I just have to find the point when I made that token. So, because I think I made also... it, I just can't remember why. Okay, there it is. And there it isn't. This well, is I did this on labeling your tokens is a good idea. <laughs> I did. It says hand of light. Hand of light doesn't last nine turns. I know it lasts three. Oh, no. Wait a second. No. Long is making it. Long made it. Long's orange. Is, is long? Hang on. It's haste. It is definitely haste. <laughs> you said in the past. It's haste. Anyway. It's I've rolled the new initiative. Zelda's at the top. So let us begin the epic adventures of Darkest Dungeons and Dragons. So, Zelda, Wait, I think what are you available? I'm something. back. You're back. back. Good timing, because it's you first. Okay, sorry, I have to get, get back in the zone. So to speak. <laughs> Hang on, is is everyone uh, here? I don't think everyone's in the initiative. Yeah, you're right. Father Eric. We need Osiris back. Yeah. We had him. Oh, yeah. He's in the bag. What? What about um? Ninja West, my... Oh, never mind. <laughs> What's your character's name again? Is it right now? Is is it just me, or is the only figurine that's there is Rick Real and everybody, uh, and all the other ones are like cutes? Just you. Okay, because I just see He Man uh, as a box. Right. Yeah, it's all there is a box, and Mad. And, and they run the box. What if I see oh, 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 Le Leopard Father Arid is is uh, Morty proper. Uh, if if I spawn in that that He Man, can you see that He Man? No, it's just another box. Wow, it's not showing you any of those links, it's, huh? It's 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 fine. Is their website down? Maybe? No, it's not fine. <laughs> I remember what we look like. Long, do you have uh, mod caching turned off? Uh, I don't know. I just have like the default settings. If mod caching is turned off, then if their server is down, you wouldn't see the model. And all of us who have it cached are seeing the model because we had it cached from last week. <laughs> Where is mod right. cache? Then again, it could just be you need to reconnect. You might just have a loading issue. You do have higher ping sure. than the rest of us. Let's try that. So we've got everyone on the initiative now, right? I believe so. Yeah. You guys got. Oh God, did you see what that other counter was for the three one? Uh, three is my hand of light. Okay, cool. Nine is your haste. Moonlit corpse. Who's your character? Where are you at? Yo. I'm here. Are you? Who's your character? Where are you at? I'm here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't believe somewhere. him. He's not here. Just carry on the game without him. 
Do you wish to be included? Wait, can I not be heard? Do you, well, what we is hear you. We hear you, but I'm asking you a question and you're not responding. And he's gone. And he's gone. Oh, <laughs> wait, he's back. Can I be heard? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hey. What is your character's what do you name? Be? Oh, Momoro. Wait. Huh? What do you want to be? <laughs> oh, Mamorio. Something. Man, Morio. Yeah. Mamorio. All right. Mamorio. The adventurers came back to the hamlet. They hung out for two weeks. Then they went back into the dungeon. Did you follow them? Me? No. Okay, then you're not Wait. in the game. Thank you. Thank you for playing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did you, Did follow, you follow the adventurers no? on their quest? <laughs> no. Okay, shut the Just fuck the... up and go away. I'm only level six. I don't think I was in my Only level. level. That's level the max six. level. Oh, it is? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you have two, you have two weeks <laughs> oh of downtime. You have two weeks to prepare me. too. If, if you don't have any weapons, get some or something. I have a feeling he's not prepared, guys. <laughs> yeah, he's not, he's not I may or may not be pre prepared. Mm. <laughs> Take that I have a question. To remove the main. Um, can I? Can I? Wait, was that? Does that count as two weeks of downtime? We had two weeks of downtime. Um... If you weren't uh, involved in it, you'll have to figure that out at a later date. We'll do one of those uh, uh, retroactively during those weeks. I did some things that I didn't tell you guys about, and we'll figure that out later. <laughs> but for now, uh, for now, anybody that was in the Hamlet and wants to be in the game this week should probably follow the heroes into the Darkest Dungeon. Oh. <laughs> uh, I didn't know, so I'll follow them if it's not too wait, wait. You just just say you just say you showed up. What? All right, so we just need. Say, just say that you like the party. We need uh, Osiris and Marmoriel to put on the board. There are they in town? Wait, let's see. D did you finally add your weapons? I've got Osiris's token I'm right here. I'm going to do hmm? and... Wait, you did or you didn't? All right, I have them both. I will bring them in. I am. Did you update your character sheet? That's what I'm doing. Oh. Uh. Okay, so if you guys entered the darkest dungeon and followed yes. the party, yes, the party traveled down this corridor here, and you guys didn't want to be involved because there be demons here, so you guys are both cowering like little babies in the back here where it's not dangerous. <laughs> I still can't get over that. Did you follow the party? No. Okay, <laughs> then get out. <laughs> I don't, mean to be blunt, like, I don't mean to be guys, blunt, but that's like an are you here question. <laughs> guys, come on. We have, kill, we have to go and kill the bad guy. No, I don't want to go kill the bad guy. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? <laughs> All right. So I need no way. two Scooby snacks. <laughs> Let's see. I need one more counter. We got a marmorial counter. No, that's a Houdini counter. Houdini's dead. That's... Wait, isn't in the lore of Scooby? Oh, All right, that's a martial law counter. We're halfway there. I'm gonna call that one Marmorial. Ninja. <laughs> so. Ninja, we're killing the Houdini this time. Um. The Beholder. Was it the Beholder? Oh, the anti magic oh, he... field. So Did I think just... he winks oh, back yeah. into existence when he's outside the anti magic field. Oh, yeah. That's... So that's I'm gonna I'm gonna put him back on the board too. We can we can say Houdini's here. Um, Yay. and then I'll just re-roll the initiative <laughs> again. Wait. Has anybody's initiative changed? Osiris? Wait, Memorial? Uh, uh, no. Mm. I'll look at the stream. Give me a moment. All right. Uh, yeah, no. Everything's normal with me. I'll give it a good zoom so you can Wait, see. Wait, how do I have a plus 19? I'm good. How My initiative is normally plus 3. Uh, how do I have plus 19? Plus 19 yeah. seems yeah. high. Probably yeah. all of Which one has a plus 19? Jesus Christ. Battle uh, ballot as well. I, I don't think that's correct. Let's see. I have... 17 maybe. Uh, didn't you already deck, have 12? Plus... Let's see. I have 3 from my deck, 5 from alert. That's 8. I get 3 from the prophet's eye. That's 11. 11. So my base is 11 as long as I stay more than 20 feet away from an enemy, which I am. 
I mean, I assume how the wall does, counts. Like, how much does Battle Ballad add? It's on 11. It adds 4. So that'd be 15. I'm not sure where the other 4 would be coming from, though. I think you added the 4. Did points. you have haste? No, no. There's no point in giving haste to wizard. I don't know about that. I've done some awesome things with haste. <laughs> activating hey, yeah, you, magic it items. Let, it doesn't let you cast twice. Well, activating a magic item is uh, technically not casting a spell. So if it's a magic item that you have to activate as an action to cast the spell, which has a time of an action, it's technically not you casting a third spell. It's the item doing it. But your bonus action is limited to just a few things, yeah. such as using an attack action or a dash or something like that. Your 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 bonus action from the haste is not any action. Hmm. All right, the game still says it's having trouble loading models. I don't care. Whatever, we're cubes. I I'm fine with that. All right, just just Wait, imagine dungeon, this is the Roblox edition of Darkest Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> yeah, Darkest Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, Osiris and Marmor are, are characters. This uh, oh, Solar, Mad God, or Leron and Keenan Bobs are cubes. That's fine. <laughs> So, Ninja, it is limited, but use an object is on the list. You can attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object. There you go. <laughs> so, yes, in theory, I guess I could use two wands. All right, so, Zelder. Yeah. Actually, Zelder, you're not first, because I rerolled it and <laughs> shot you way down to the bottom. Oh. Uh, or to third place, I should say. So, uh, Mad God, you get to go first now. Huzzah! I am midway through doing something else, but okay. Uh, right, so I've got the Hand of Light buff, um, and it's my turn again. Where the hell are we on this? There we are. I am going to, <clears throat> as a bonus action, I am casting uh, Hand of Light, and as an action, I am casting... Hmm, let's see here... Hand of Light! Because this fucker is unholy. And I can, I'm can i pretty sure you said I could see it. Right now it's in like a whirlpool, but I can see it from my, thanks to the helmet. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And it's unholy, so extra damage, yay! Wait, Let me just, uh, give me a second to change my rolls uh, so that it reflects the plus damage to unholy targets, okay? Okay. What's your question? Ja. Oh, never mind. I just answered it for myself in my head. Good job. Way to go. How do I update my character, Gerard? <laughs> Just type one update. With the worst okay. kind of ASMR. And, and I'll type it in character backgrounds. That's a new thing. <laughs> All right. Just to uh, narrate okay, the yeah. environment description a little bit, you are in a complex network of tunnels, a maze-like structure of twisting tunnels. Many of the corridors here are flooded and damp. Uh, the walls are leathery and moist, moist, and you can hear the sounds of flapping, screeching, leathery things coming from the distance. Right now, all I hear is, I think, the breath of corpse. <laughs> Just imagine that Perfect. as the as the moist, dank, rotten air flowing <laughs> through the cavernous yeah. depths of the maze-like structure <laughs> of the <laughs> darkest <laughs> dungeon. World building. <laughs> World building done right. It's part of the yeah. ambience. <laughs> the heavy breathing, of course. Part of the ambience. Okay, I'm uh, I'm ready. By the way, uh, so first uh, first roll with my bonus action. Twenty. Does a twenty hit? A twenty does hit, but not by much. This thing's carapace is thick. Uh, hit is a hit. Uh, that deals twenty six damage. All right, big Wait, damage. Do you have the illumination for minus six AC on it though? Does it? Did I cast that spell? The tokens there. Yeah, uh, you're right. It it's small. It's very, very small. Oh, it's. I put it on the car on the enemy. Did I? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, I'll make a note of that for next time. Uh, okay. So there's that one. And what type of damage was that again? That was uh, radiant. One d twelve radiant. Good. Good. Radiant does significant harm to this creature who recoils from the the blinding light. It's dark vision. You can tell it's like all all pasty white albino skin and and uh, aquatic so the the bright light harms its underwater eyes. 
Awesome. Uh, that was my first attack. And uh, second attack roll. Boom. Oh, am I getting crit from anything? Did, did uh, what? 19, Battle yes. Huzzah. Yeah, that, that, that is a crit then. So I get to add uh, damage. I get to add the damage Thanks. die. And uh, actually, hang on. My thing crits as well. Hand of Light. Wait, does it even matter? The spell attack has plus one to hit and plus five percent crit chance. So that just means I crit on eighteen, but I crit anyway. Yeah. Um, Ninja, is this counting? Um, do I like? Is it, ugh, do you pull a card from the card selection? Well, you don't do it anymore, do you? No, nah, I use the random list. Hang on a yeah, sec. One TV thing at a time. Let me get back list. into the mode. So successful critical hit. You get. Let's see, eight stress heal, and does Bizarre. anybody see you do it? Mm, I'm gonna say Rikaril, Uh and Zelda. If you have stress, you can also lose eight stress. And then, uh. with a magic critical hit, you feel it's imperative. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let me cycle it and make sure this is randomized. <laughs> it was too good, wasn't it? <laughs> or too bad? All right. You feel it's imperative to press the advantage no matter the cost. You can choose to gain advantage on your next attack roll against your target, but all enemies have advantage on their attack rolls against you until the end of the turn if you choose to do so. Sort of like a reckless attack. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll. Well, let me. Next turn. Don't worry I'll, about that. I'll... Roll damage. See if he lives. He doesn't have Rolling many points left. He's already bloodied. 34. All right, so 34 damage is enough to take the head off this thing, and it will fall back into the swirling waters and die. Uh, Laron, with a big smile on his face, shrugs his, uh, shrugs his shoulders, looks at Zolder and go, There! Was that the kind of magic you were looking for? And then he looks up <laughs> to the sky at his, at his, at his uh, deity and goes, It's about damn time! <laughs> All right, so the hologram of the fat cultist priest uh, just sort of turns, and he, like, walks away out of the, the view of the magic thing and disappears from view. The hologram disappears. Did we kill that thing in one round? Mm, I think it was three. Could be wrong. He had a lot of hit points. Okay. So far, what I'm getting is that Hunter Dark Defense would have a... They have a scary name. They look scary, but they die pretty much instantly. Ninja, give me more on holy targets, please. Now, Mad God <laughs> does significant extra damage against those things, so he's hitting like a champ. All right, so in the distance, there's this Go massive on. nest, and from this nest pours forth a a mass of polyps, and the polyps flap around, blah 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 blah, blah flap 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 flap, and all of them come. Flying from the corridor here into this uh, adjacent chamber and start swirling about. Um, Father Arid is the first to see that there's all of these polyps flying around, but currently they have sort of no aim. They're just like flocking, like uh, like you'd see birds flock around, and they haven't paid any attention to the adventurers yet. But are they edible? They're. Uh, there in your field of view now, uh, Father Arid. So, um, okay, Mad God, did you want to do anything else? Uh, that's my action bonus action. Um, I guess I'll move. Um, sorry, I keep trying to find where we are. I keep assuming we're at the center of the board. Yeah, I'll move. Water column to... here still exists. Did that collapse? Yeah, did that. The water area column. there is full of water, but uh, it will subside. And move back into the pool within a few turns. Is this all wall? Yes. Black areas are walls. Okay, I'll uh, start making my way around then, uh, closer to long. I'll be I'll be here. Closer to He Man, I should say. Okay. Are the are those things edible? Why? Why is that your question? <laughs> yeah, long. Year. Out of any question you could have had, why was that one the one? He's just like, do you bleed? <laughs> Are, you edible? Edible? Like... Are you tasty? If it's a living thing, so, it probably what are they, what are they has blood. 
Wait, what are the, what are those things called again? Polyps. Polyps. Will I, will I gain any? Will I gain any cool new powers from eating them? Mm. Oh. The power of cancer. <laughs> I, oh man. These things are flying cancer cells. All right, Mad God moved. Rick Reel's next on the initiative order. What do you do? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over here. Uh, I'm also gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna go into my half state. Basically, forfeit all my dog's dungeon abilities. Go at half state. All right. Just come over here and just attack this guy right here. The polyp is flying. He's like twenty feet up in the air. Do you have a ranged weapon? Uh, yes. All right. Take a shot. Uh, eleven to hit. Uh, damage eleven. Let me find him here. Pull up. Uh, armor class 15. Alright, second attack then. Alright. Uh, natural 20, 15 damage. Nat 20, very nice. Alright, with a nat 20, you are going to heal 6 stress. And Father Arid will heal 7. Uh, advantage on all attacks until the end of your next turn because of the crit. Nice. That's all I got. All right. You've destroyed that polyp. You shoot him out of the air. It's going to crash into the ground some feet away. Um, after Reek rules, Zelda's next. You there? Yeah. Hmm. I'm back. Good. Uh, Zelda will... One, two, three, move here, teleport here with my bonus action, and I will, if I recall correctly, these do come with Eldritch, correct? Eldritch. I believe so. Uh, yeah, I'll slap these two for adjacent with tentacles. Are they Eldritch beasts or just Eldritch? Eldritch. Yeah, give me a minute and I'll look it up. says Eldritch Beast. You just okay. made oh, it that guy very happy. Yes. This does put a smile on my face. Give me one quick moment. Anybody out in Streamland? Thanks for watching. Oh, shit. Thank you. I uh, appreciate the thanks. Like, I comment, and subscribe. Can hey, you even do that on Twitch? I don't know. I can unfollow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> All right. I'd never do that because I've never been never I've been never following. Been oh wow. Oh wow. Oh god, that is a very responsive Twitch. That's very responsive. What's the battle ballad uh, bonus? Is it five or six to uh, crit? Uh, it's six. Okay. So I've got plus four to crit with a missile artillery, so that's so you'll crit also like got eight beams. Got it. Um, I'm just gonna roll it real quick a bunch of times. I'll just randomize it, just make sure. So, hold on. All right, this next roll is my actual roll. Uh, nineteen Bad. crit. <laughs> A lot of crits today. Very nice. Uh, so oh. I guess I'll crit on both. Yeah. They die. So that slap, slap. Be, Yeah, I was, I was going to say that's 40, 12, plus 7. So. <laughs> but what's my crit bonus? Uh, for getting a crit, um, that's a 9 stress heal, 7 stress heal for Father Arid and Rikuril, I guess. And then your special effect on that. The magic one. Uh, refresh, damn it. Uh, your spell <laughs> cripples your opponent. Your target's movement speed is cut in half for the next two turns as it lies dead on the ground. <laughs> okay, well, they, they exploded. 
it, as, as tentacles just erupted and did unspeakable things to their body. Slap the wings right off them. Yeah, let's go with that. Wait, really quick question. Is there a way to enchant a weapon? Yeah. Like, can I gift my spear on breaking three? Unbreaking three? What's that? It's a Minecraft enchantment. Okay. <laughs> Probably not. Can I put a loyalty on my spear? <laughs> Wait, what properties can I give my spear? Um, you can give it plus one. Plus one means plus one to hit and damage. Um, you could probably enchant it with spells if you can get one of your allies to help you out with a spell of some sort. You can put some sacred uh, flame in it and make it a fire sword or something. Sacred flame. I have sacred it's flame. But that's not plus how one is like sharpness one. Sharpness one. What about like like can I put loyalty on it like a trident? No. <laughs> it's a process. You have to like come up with a uh, schematic for the the thing you're gonna make, and then you have to get a craft person that can craft the item, and then you have to get a magic user who can put magic into it, and then you have to have ingredients from some sort of like magical beast that you've slain and taken its like magic femur bone to craft like your your special weapon or whatever, and then you can actually I still have that I still have that monster um, hunter world with ice stats. Yes, it's very monster I, I, hunter like. I still have that ice. I still have that ice giant's arm. I never dropped. Yeah, there you go. You can do something with that. Magic beast parts have a high value on the black market. So, uh, is next. yeah, just moving down the initiative. Father Arid is next. So he can see this polyp. Is it way up high in the air, or is it twenty feet up ground level? Yeah. All right. So he cannot get to it. He's gonna move closer. Anyways, just in case, and he will use his darkest dungeon ability uh, with stand, which should be at level three. Although I don't. Have Card, so let me look it up real quick. Because the card still has a level one. Yeah. What? Where so they he gets. Do? So he is a mark. He gets plus four against all blight, bleed, wound, and debuff effects, and five flat damage resistance from all sources. Very nice. And that lasts until all enemies are defeated. <laughs> they all like thousand of them, sure. Basically, until he's out of combat. Yes. And he can use that once per combat, and it lasts the whole combat. So, pretty much, it's always on, unless I state otherwise, I guess. I don't know. I have to use an action to use it, though. Wait a minute. Aren't I still a wanted criminal in a Hamlet? Yes. Yes. Ah. You probably can't go shopping now. That's Damn, problematic, boy. isn't it? I just remembered that. Like, wait a minute. Because like, I thought about what I do for those two weeks of downtime. I thought about robbing the bank again, but then it clicked in my mind. Wait a minute. I'm a wanted criminal. You're a bank robber. Oh, no. <laughs> and it... <laughs> At least I didn't realize it when I walk into the hamlet. Wait a minute. Why are you putting handcuffs? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, you guys should pay Why attention to that initiative counter everywhere. because it's Mad God's turn. Wait, is it? You are our top of the list. Wait, did we? No, 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 no. Scorbeak. Father, oh. Father Ari just went. Scorbeak is on the list. I thought that was a bit peculiar. Where is my feathered friend? Uh, he's over here. Okay. Um, I'm going to have Scorbeak. Has anyone been damaged? It says here that. He man is wounded, but he has full hit points. Oh, that yeah. should be great. That's so wounded, man. No one's I, I uh, no one's taking damage. I think Rikuro no. may have gotten a hit by the uh, Raster Lift, but he regenerates so damn fast. I think it went away. Yep. It's saying that he's got six uh, six hit points. Oh well, well, he, he, just, he just had a whirlpool put around him. I don't think he got hit. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I guess Scorbeak then will... What the fuck? The bird's attached to me. Uh, I guess I'll just perch on He-Man's shoulders for now then. 
Wait, can I can an item have more than one infusion on it? Yeah, items can have multiple effects. You can have like oh, okay. special legendary weapons will have like three or four different enchantments stacked on them. They're really powerful OP items. Before you know, a spell twining will become a thing. That's one spell, two spell effects happen. Yeah, all right. I guess I'll play announcer. Oh, Cirrus, you're next on the initiative order. Ah, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do something very original. I'm gonna take my spear. Wait, wait, am I even in range? You are way in the back. So you and Marmorial <laughs> snuck up on the party. They didn't even know you were here. And you watched them battle like a couple of big giant horrible monsters. A beholder that was just a huge ball of teeth and tentacle stalks, and then they fought a wastrolith, which is some sort of water demon, and they've just been cutting a path through these horrible, darkest dungeon monsters, and you've both been hanging back here, so do you want to advance? Yes. All right, so let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, if you dash, that'll put you in the room. So once you're in the room, you can see... Um, Mad God is to your left, down this corridor. Uh, the Wastrolith is beheaded, and its body floats in a pool of water over here. But across the way, you can see that Father Arid is uh, pursuing a, a, a weird creature that's flying out of a side passage here. Um, oh, can you don't, I, you don't can know I where shoot your at other allies are at, but yeah, you could, from here, you could shoot at the Pollock. Ah, okay. But you had to dash to get where you're at, so you don't uh, you don't have another action. Not this turn. All right, let me wait, let me look at my bonus action. You have bonus actions. What is he again? A blood hunter. Warlock? I am a warlock artificer fighter. Oh, I got that wrong. Why? <laughs> Why? Wait, do you have Axis Surge? Can you Axis Surge? Yeah, but isn't it a... Wait, no, it, it's no Axis and you use Axis Surge, right? Yeah, you can just no. do that. It oh. just gives you a free action. That That's a class feature thing. We yeah. can only use it once per... Use it once per... Correct. Once per store. Right? Do I want to use it on a couple of Warblings? No. No, I'm not going to use Axis Surge. going to save it? All right. So wait, hold up, hold up. Wait, I, I there's still other things I can surge, do. Action surge. Um, I am going to. Yeah. Be honest, there's, there's nothing I can really do here. That well, nothing that's worth it. So I'm just gonna. I'm okay. Yeah, don't worry about it too much. If you can't do something this turn, save it for next turn. Let's just keep it moving there so we can get like... to your next turn soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right, that seems mine. Houdini? Houdini is going to go and perch on his buddy. Is that it? The, he can't do a whole lot. Um, okay. I mean, so, he man, you are, you are on the precipice of the pool. Anybody attacks the Apollo. The pool is deep. He'll use his action. But you're standing on a ledge, so you're not in it. I cannot move my cube of a character for whatever reason, but I can move uh, this. Did somebody lock my character? Nope. I can move it. Okay. Uh, is the water rough terrain, or does it get dispelled when the thing when the wave dies? You don't know. You haven't gone forward yet. I might be able uh, to. I mean, if there's another He-Man on the board that's of an older model, that might be what's stopping him from seeing it. So, is there another He-Man somewhere? I mean, I don't know why it would stop me from seeing Leron and uh, Salted, though. He's just unable to see any uh, of the models know. from that website. Leave the game and come back. I already did that. It didn't work. You, can you see uh, this? You can't, no, can it's you? A cube. It's not a cube, uh, yeah, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start. <laughs> Move forward, try to go through the water. Okay. He-Man moves forward. A powerful vortex of water sucks you down immediately. 
Roll an athletics oh, no. check to swim. <laughs> oh, boy. The timing. Do you get any uh, advantage from haste? I don't think so. No, that's for dex and acrobatics. Oh, that's a really low roll. All right. I, I hope you can hold your breath for a while, because you have just been sucked to the bottom. Okay, uh, I, I put on my uh, my manta ray hood <laughs> so I can breathe. <laughs> I can my manta ray hood. Mm. All right, so there's just like a powerful suction through here, and uh, in order to get out, you're going to need to make an athletics check on a future turn. Okay. All right, so the polyps, all of them, screech and form into a massive horde. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> it's gonna take their full turn, it's a full turn action for all of the polyps to unite into the Giga Polyp. Oh, the no. Giga -polyp. I, oh no, it has a name. I'm gonna park, the Giga, I'm gonna park, Giga. I'm gonna park the Giga Polyp here. There's a swirling, <laughs> horrifying mass of polyps. Every one of them looks like a winged testicle with teeth. <laughs> a winged testicle. I right. just imagine veiny and hairy. Marmoreal, you haven't uh, you haven't entered the room yet, so you haven't seen the, um, uh, the mass of demonic, hungry testicles. What do you do? Wait, I uh, from the noises I hear, I just uh, I don't go in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it, it, it's the most logical but boring choice. Come on, live a little. I'm fine. I, if I can, still, I just walk in. If I don't die. You're a monk. You can only run past, like, most. Oh, right, yeah. Do you have uh, increased Wait, the... movement speed? How fast do you go? Wait, can uh, you pull up your feet? Uh, 30 feet. Alright, so that's regular then. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Wait, can you pull up your character sheet? Hold on. 15, 20, 25, 30. Alright. Oh, should I still watch the video? Uh, yes, we can hear. <laughs> if you're a monk, monks tend to go faster if they've got, what is it, like two levels of monk to get the improved speed? You can't be wearing armor. Oh, uh, I am? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't I seen know. you play the game long enough to know what the hell your character even is. <laughs> yeah, we haven't got a fucking clue. You're just, you're just, uh, you're just this guy in a robe that shows up sometimes. <laughs> it's like, comes well, in the XG. Where'd he come from? Is he with us? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, at least he's not a wanted criminal, right? Not like that bank robber that followed us here. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know where he is. Nothing is happening. Which one's the bank robber again? Oh, he, man, he man sees you and he's like, hey, isn't that that guy that tried to steal all of my money? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, like, I, I took multiple long arrests with them and they, I just looked them dead in the face and I kind of sits with them and they just did nothing. <laughs> he's a very forgiving hero, I guess. <laughs> Even a mad god, surprisingly. He's more, he's more worried about the fact, wait, you're a vampire? We'll talk about it later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care about vampires. Or werewolves. <laughs> The old, demons, obviously uh, evil ones that I care about. Because I can. The tieflings aren't all, always evil. You're know. red skinned and you have horns. You're a fucking devil. Kind of racist. <laughs> Unless you play as a human, I ain't gonna fucking. I, I'm turning you in, boy. That's super <laughs> racist, my guy. Racist against tieflings. Racist, right? it's, it's the 1400s. Yeah, that's I fine, I guess. <laughs> Hell, slavery's on the way. I can't wait to become the best capitalist. <laughs> oh no! Oh god! <laughs> oh god! I need long rest so I can actually. Wait, if it. if the only weapon you have a sickle? All right. Yeah. Anyway, Marmoreal, do you have any bonus actions? Uh, I don't. You can check me your character sheet. Yeah, I'm looking at my character sheet. I don't see anything. So I guess not. Let me see your character sheet. Link it in the Discord for a second. Let me just take a look at right, it. Hold on. Is that it right there? Fire Ganassi Monk? Sixth level? Yep. Ganassi? <laughs> yeah. He has wed skin. Fire Hennessy. Fire Hennessy, like the whiskey? 
All right. Hennessy. <laughs> All right. So you are the fire Hennessy. You've got some attacks. I think um, flurry of blows isn't that a bonus action? That's only if you want to attack though. So I probably don't have to. And it's a key point. So don't do that. Um, we're just gonna say you dashed into the room and stood next to Osiris. Do you want to stand on Osiris's left or right? Uh, right. Okay. You well, you can piggyback right. me. <laughs> Wait, can he piggyback? No, you can't end your movement in somebody's space unless they're on the <laughs> ground. All right, so uh, I'll roll the new initiative. Wait, next turn, can I throw Memorial as a weapon? Can I throw him? Why? Just... All right. I don't have Westerlith anymore. Now I have the Giga Polyp. So I'm going to change the name over here to Giga Polyp. Wait, Ninja, could I, could I throw him? Like, just pick him up and eat him? Uh, it is a thing that can be done. Especially if he's willing. If he's willing to go along with it and doesn't fight it, it's real easy. Just, just throw him. Like, how much damage would that do? It, it kind of is an improvised weapon. Yeah, unfortunately. So, no proficiency. All right. So here's what's gonna happen. The new initiative has begun. Zelda, you are at the top as you often are. Uh, you hear the noise getting closer and closer, but you haven't seen it. Oh man, just throw a fireball in there. <laughs> Well, well I, I probably has a, recommend that. Houdini can know. see it, though. Houdini can tell them what the heck is going on, correct? Yes. They flutter about, flapping Actually, and gnashing their teeth. Forget what is I this guy still here? Or has he joined the, 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 the party? No. I left him where he was. Wait, He's are they straggler. literally just <laughs> He's 20 feet up, though, correct? He's a scout, a relay. He is 20 feet up in the air, yes. They're flying right. testicles. Um, yes. Well, Zalder is going to do the Zalder thing. He's going to move here. He's going to teleport here in an act of uncommon bravery. All right. So you're going to go underneath it? Fall through the floor. Yes. <laughs> Face the wrong direction. <laughs> shoot a fireball backwards. Throws the and he's going to shoot a fireball directly at the mass, which has enough spread to get them all yeah all right that means this... they have to save individually yeah oh. and they're gonna take 8d6 damage each in the hole they're gonna die i'm not sure if they can withstand that you need to do 32 and then i don't have to roll any dice so roll your damage <laughs> this could be a time saver no, no you couldn't oh. do it you couldn't do it some of them will survive all right all right some will survive Okay, um, well... I, I apologize for you having to do that many rolls. What is your DC? Well, it's 16. Why don't you just 16. take an average? All right, it's 16. They've got a plus four dex. So, 12 out of so 20. So I need to get a 12. Take. I'm going to roll a bunch of d20s on a roller. I had to roll really shit to get 24. Oh, I did roll really shit. Got three ones, a two, and a three. Yep. All right. How many of these are over 12? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. All right. It's actually better than average roll. Twelve of the 30 survive. Uh, about right. That's exactly average. That is perfectly average. Well, no, 15 would be the average. That's no, because he needed 12. So 12 out of 20 would survive. So out of 30, that would be... Uh, or sorry, 8 out of 12 would survive. Because he needed a 12 plus. I'm just watching Ninja individually and move. So 12 out of 30 would be <laughs> the same percentage, which is exactly the same. Oh boy. And they all individually have 12 hit points. 
I have marked them all with 12 damage individually. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the huge fireball erupts in the air above you in front of this giant fleshy nest covered in weird eyeballs that watch as you explode all of its children. All of the nutsack has- demons and their wings go flying apart demon <laughs> testicle juices fly everywhere in a spatter of gore. Uh, innumerable polyps just bursted in the air and crashed to the ground as smoldering, charred ruins of what they used to be. But the handful of them that were sort of in the center of the mass were protected by the outer layers of them that died. And the inner layers were only scorched and burned by the fire. And they're furious and they're uh, also quite frightened uh, because an enormous fireball just killed half of them. Um, Zaldur does go and say, oh shit, when he realizes it didn't actually annihilate all of them. No. <laughs> he, he's, he's, he's sweating. He's sweating. And not just because he was three feet away from the fireball. So I want to say the fireball ended <sighs> like right there. <laughs> right. All right. So they are furiously flying about in a, in a lump here, 20 feet up. Um, I think in military terms, they'd call that danger close. Yes. <laughs> Did they not attack uh, last round? Did they just become the swarm? Last round, they moved. They moved to become the swarm. They were individuals, and they had to position themselves into one unit. So Becoming um, the swarm was the action. Okay. And that's all my. That's all that Zelda can do. Okay. Mad God. What does Lairon Life Giver do? Yes. Uh, Leron, the giver of life, uh, moves to where behind he, uh, he man is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, looks down at the pool at uh, He man struggling in the water, and as a free action, I'm going to say, You're right. <laughs> you got that? <laughs> You're going to make it? And he's yeah, like, okay, blub, 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 blub. Bubbles deep come is up. The- yeah, how deep is this thing? Uh, 100 feet. Oh. Oh, shit. That is quite a deep pool. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can really do to help you out in this situation. I mean, once you put that Cloak of the Manta Ray on, you can just dash at the speed of sound, thanks to haste, <clears throat> dashing, and, you know, moving 60 yeah, feet. Yeah, but this isn't night. like, apparently this isn't just still water I can swim through. <laughs> He's got to break the suction. Well, I can't give enough of a suck. The I don't undertow have pulls him down and no, down and down, do unless he can make that athletics check to swim back up. So we're just not going to talk about that masterful joke by Mad God? Yeah, we're just going to ignore that, it's apparently. Big suck. <laughs> uh, Leron's going to call out to He-Man and say, I wish I could help, but I don't have any spells, and I don't have any spells that would help in this situation. And uh, I'm going to use my to uh hmm. could you evaporate the water like you fired can i use like an interaction to because scooby got off he-man's shoulder before he got sucked in do i have to can i just put scooby back on me did he still have movement uh yes he kind of dashed his action so he still has movement i guess so all right i'll put him back on me then uh i'll use my uh, action to dash and uh, get to here. Uh, there are no spaces, but I can fly on top of the whirlpool, so I'm safe. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Alright, so you're still ducked behind like... a wall. I'll go over here. I'll get to here. There. there. And I'll use my bat- bonus action to have score beak attack. <laughs> Um, let's just say the swarm itself. Sure. <clears throat> what can Scorbeak do? That he can't use any of his dazzling or any of his dark dungeon skills because they're all attack rolls. Oh no! Wait, I'm using my bonus action. Of course, he can do it. Um, what would be good if I use? Have Have we established its uh, AC yet? Nope. Fifteen. Mm, that's oh, uh, I'll do dazzling light. I'll see if I can stun them for a turn. Uh, so ninja, would you 
Uh, oh no, wait, I have to roll to hit. Bam! 28. 28. Um, I think they're immune to stun. What do you mean they're immune to stun? Yeah, because they're in a horde, they get immune to stun. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, most of the status effects <laughs> don't work you. unless you target the, like, all, like, 11 of them. Well, this, it kind of does. What's the area of your spell? Well, look, uh, the spell has plus two to hit. On a hit, the target takes a d12 radiant damage, and it must make a dc14 wisdom save. Oh, so, no, sorry. I'm thinking of illumination. Basically, only AoE is going to work against these. Can I cast illumination instead, then? Yeah, you can cast whatever you want. Same, same to hit. But if I cast that, will it work? Because it says on a hit, a d12 radiant damage, and target gets a dc14 uh, wisdom save. This is 6 AC for three turns. Enemies within the 30 feet range get minus five to their stealth checks. So does that assume that it hits everything on a 30 feet outwards? No. That means the that if they were stealthing, they would have a minus five, but they're not. So who cares? I still don't get it then. Why would it say within the 30 feet range? It's just the light. It's bright. The light <laughs> There's no of shadows the to hide it. <laughs> it. Yeah, but I assume I assume that not he's damaging all of them. I assume that the wording meant that when you target a creature, thirty feet outwards of that creature, any enemy is uh, like flash bombed is revealed. That's why it is minus five. Yeah, to but they're not hiding. Yeah, but but I'm assuming. Well, I'm assuming that that is within the range of the spell, the 30 feet. It's like, there's a period in there, in between the uh, three turns and the enemies within. So, like, when there's a period, All that right. means it's a separate effect. <clears throat> Alright, okay. Uh, so, the minus six AC, does that does that affect the horde? Mm, well, you targeted one of them, and he'll have a minus six AC. We'll say it's... This one, Ex and I'll change Excuse his color me. to. Ex no, no, hang on a second. Yeah, Why yeah. is it that when we use this one, when we use saving throw area of effects, it's one person, it's what it's sep it's uh, one creature. Bunch of individuals. I'm trying, but, I'm trying yeah. to explain to you like why your spell is not doing what you want. You're targeting one creature, so this is that one creature that yeah, has a minus. Yeah, the horde. <laughs> I'm targeting the horde. The, the horde so is one creature. The, in, the, in the front of the, the horde, horde, in the front of the horde, you hit one creature for minus AC, and the rest of them have minus five stealth. That's what your spell did. Okay, so what if I were to cast Shatter in that area then? I would roll one save for one creature. Yes. So why not? Exactly. That's my point. The I'm gonna do it. A bigger radius of damage. I'm gonna do it how I want to do it, and I'll change the rules whenever I want. Deal with it. This is Mad a the water demon. It's unfair. I'm gonna flip it every time. I hate you. Mad Doc can kill a water demon, but he can't beat a pile of polyps. <laughs> but it's ridiculous. <laughs> We've had games before where Shatter only does damage once because it crounces one enemy. Okay, I'll use a single target effect on it. That'll affect it, right? No, it's actually uh, it's actually a bunch of enemies. What the fuck? All right, moving on. <sighs> I hate you so much, Scorby. <laughs> yeah, Scorby. I, I I don't know. <clears throat> uh, does a magic? There you go. Told the dead on the one creature that had minus six AC, or the entire horde, if you'll count that, which you won't. I mean, that's a saving throw, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So minus AC. Now beat this saving throw. I don't have. I can't make attack rolls. It's a familiar. Didn't he just get a power to do attack rolls? No, that was Leiron's bonus action, thanks to investment of the Chainmaster. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. All right. Well, I rolled a 15. What kind of save is it? Uh, wisdom. 17 yeah. to beat. I think he they failed. suck at wisdom, so he's going to fail at that. He's already taken damage, so... I'm still annoyed. Eh. 21 damage. 21 damage? <clears throat> Alright. That polyp dies. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> wow. Mad See, God, I'm so impressed. I'm just doing it the way I said I was going to do it. I'll have a mass of creatures, and then I'll put, like, one individual creature for you to target with your single target spells. 
I said I was going to do this, and this is what you I'm doing. You said it was a horde. It is. But it's not. A horde is both a mass of creatures and a single unit with a single pool of hit points. But that just that's just an excuse for you to say, okay, it's either a single unit or it's... That's just you nitpicking. Yep. And it depends on the spell you use and what the spell says and what it does. So it's going to vary a lot. Does anyone here see my point and why this is bullshit? We can all see your OCD. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm alone in the world. <laughs> Recruil. There are no uh, one. What do you want to no do? Stand yeah. my pain. I'm going to go over here and just go, I guess go around the corner a little bit. Something. Okay, around the corner you can see the mass of polyps, partially burnt, but still very much alive and dangerous. What do you do? Uh, I should have, I should have crossbow at one of them. All right, twang goes the crossbow. Does it hit? Uh, twelve. Cross. It's with advantage. Uh, I'm doing the advantage thing and the uh. First attack hits, seven damage. Okay. And the second attack both misses. Yep, so I guess um, one of them takes... One of them takes um, seven damage. Okay. You killed one of them with a crossbow bolt. It goes flying, lands with a clatter at the back of the, the hall here. Um, He-Man, you are deep down. At the bottom of this thing, there's a grate, and the water is flowing through a grate, and you're, like, pressed against it. He's already at the bottom at of the thing? At the bottom? Yeah. Just a... uh, uh... I mean, it's not really 100 feet. It's pretty deep. You could get back to the surface in one turn if you make an athletics check. Okay. But if you weren't strong enough, you might be stuck down here and drown. All right, no problem. You swim to the surface. Um, do you want to hang on to the ledge over here, or do you want to come out onto the top over here? Uh, if I can choose which side I come out on, I'll be on the other side where everyone else is. All right. So He-Man's hand emerges from the water and hangs on to the edge of the ledge here behind Zalder. It's hard to fit you in that space, <laughs> but we know where you're at. Here, maybe I'll get rid of the Wastrolith. We'll put him over here somewhere. And then we can put you there. Yeah, that'll do. Do I have an action on my turn now? Um... You can have a bonus action. Do you have a bonus action? Uh, uh, I teleport onto the surface. <laughs> Drink another potion of haste. I mean, it's not like the last one faded. <laughs> I don't need another one. I know, it's action. a joke. Uh, 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 what if do you I mean three right cups of here, coffee isn't will, better than one? Uh, I, will, I will teleport <laughs> ten feet over there. <laughs> In an open space. Okay. Whoop. So you blink in and blink out. Blink out and blink in. Um, Father Arid. Blinking out. Yeah. It's getting really crowded over here, but Father Arid is in the mess. What do you do? Is the mess reachable from ground floor? Uh, no. 20 feet up. Of course not. Of course not. Um, I honestly don't think Father Eric can do anything as he does not have any ranged weapon. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe retreat and make space for other people? <laughs> uh, yeah, how about no? He is going to dash action. Oh, that is... That's an L. Let me just double check his darkest dungeon abilities and see what. Yeah. Okay. We 
What is going on with stationing here? Is Rickaril and Father Arid in the same space? Nope. Just crappy positioning. Alright. Father Arid is going to go underneath the horde. Gotcha. I guess I'm kidding. He's in this square. Underneath the horde. No. Just gonna and there to say after that they're making above. several futile attempts, looking like a toddler with a, a hammer trying to jump up and down, that doesn't work. So he takes a knee and prays. And he's just going to use his uh, solemnity action, which at level three does. So he heals a d8 plus his wisdom mod. He doesn't have damage, but it also reduces stress by that amount. Mm. This the mod is two, so d8 plus two. So he heals eight stress, so he's back down to zero stress. Lucky. All right. The polyps vomit furiously. They're spitting their phlegmy vomit. It's all nasty and venomous. Uh, the vomit rains down uh, in an in an arc. Uh, it's going to hit Rikaril and Zalder, maybe. So against Rikaril, well, hang on, he's not here. Against Zalder, I've got uh, what do they got? They got plus four to hit. That's shit. A thirteen and a nine. Neither of those hit, did it? No, he's got an AC of 17, thanks to uh, Mage Armor and plus three dexterity. He's nice. quick. He's fat, but he's quick. All right. So each one of those phlegmy blobs hisses uh, and uh, blackens the ground where it lands. Um, so against Rikaril, I've got a couple of techs. Oh, look at that. A 16 and a 20 on the dice. That's fucking great. I think both of those are going to hit. So that's going to be a 20 and a 24. And the 24 is a crit. Uh, he's got an AC of 20. <laughs> so his little highlighter. Both of those are going to hit. Uh, they do. A D4 plus 4. So the first one does 6. The second one does 11. That's the crit. And then... stress and then let's see for witnessing Rikaril take a critical hit everybody within 20 feet takes 7 stress damage so everyone <laughs> looks like everyone oh, I'm, oh, I'm back what happened alright so Rikaril the, uh, the polyp horde starts projectile vomiting uh, venomous phlegm in your direction and at Zalder so I rolled to hit Zalder, he dodged both of them. I rolled to hit you, and I hit with one, I crit with the other. The hit does six. Um, let's see, what is Even this? with an AC of 20? Yes, they got a 20 to hit. 16 plus four. Uh, so that's going to be six slashing damage, and I need a DC 13 con save from you. Right, so that's full slashing damage, I'm resistant towards it. Yep. DC, DC, um, what? 13 con, 13. Alright. Uh, more sleepy than I am. That's a six. Okay, you got a six. Um, you have received a bleeding wound. Um, mm hmm. I get a counter for this. Which I don't think is going to work at all. It's going to be super effective against a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Crimson Curse vampires have a bunch of penalties against bleeding. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's new. You're really resistant to certain things, but bleeding, yeah, bleeding sucks for you. You're like, no, my food source is coming out of my body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. Blood, blood is your life, and right now, it's, more so it's... than an immortal, and now it's just pouring out of you. 
it's it's like someone's forcing you to diarrhea all your food. <laughs> <laughs> Explosive diarrhea. Yeah, except it's like through your femoral instead. Now hang on, I'm reading the wrong one. That's uh that's for the flesh hound. Um my bad. That was actually for poison, so you become poisoned. He can't. He's a vampire. Alright, so you're immune to that. So that's actually good. So the poison doesn't affect you, you just took damage. Um the other the other attack was a crit, and the crit did eleven, which I guess you reduce to five, but then you take four stress damage on it on top of that. So But isn't this acid damage not slashing? Uh yeah, it says acid damage. Are you so I'm not sure, are you resistant to acid too? Acid? No. no. Yeah, acid does full oh, damage no. to him. So you take, yeah, so both attacks would have done full. So it'd be seventeen total. Mm, you're right. So seventeen acid damage, four stress damage. There we go. Uh what kind of acid negative hit does he get? Well, if he gets dropped by it, then I'll roll on like the permanent injury table. Uh, uh but uh like for the critical hit you mean. Yeah, yeah. What kind of nifty acid critical hit speed? Ah, it's also sticky. Your feet are stuck to the ground, your movement speed's cut in half for two turns. Ew. The leftovers from the fireball monsters. Okay. So, uh... Fires down, shoots up its dead brothers, and spits it. Ja Rule, are you there? Yep. <laughs> ja Rule? Ja Rule? Yes. Are you guys seeing yes, Rule? I... I just see Ja. And three clothes. <laughs> I'm making, I'm making a 90s joke and nobody gets it. All right, so, oh, no. serious, what do you do? Uh, All right. I thought All you were right. agreeing with me earlier. I called him Ja Rule earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, what are you going to do? We're old. Yeah, you are. Who's giving me <laughs> viruses? God damn it. <laughs> All right, so what, can I make it to um, where the pol Well, can I make it within range of the polyps within 30 feet? Mm, no. Uh, okay. Five, ten, Wait, where can I get within 30 feet? 20, 25, 30. Uh, you could get here with one move. Um, and then, let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 35, 40. A second move would get you here with 25 feet of movement behind He Man. Actually, you could go over here, and then I think you have line of sight on this polyp in the air over here. Would you like to take a shot at that polyp? Yes. Okay. But that was a double move. That was a dash. Mm, that's right. Do you have a bonus action? You, you can did do? dash. I guess not. Wait. Hold me a moment. Bonus action. Usually not. So then it's mostly a pos positioning thing? Like, where do you want to be in the room? Because you have enough movement that you could place yourself around here somewhere. Wait, where, where could I be within 30 feet? Where you're at here is going to give you line of sight on one polyp. Um, but you could position yourself closer if you wanted to put yourself behind a wall here. Th that would give you cover. From a polyp? What, what could they do? Oh, yeah, they could fly over and mm. surround you and attack you and vomit on you. Oh, Delicious. man. They probably they, don't. They're really just... disgusting pigeons. You're in the back. You're unlikely to be attacked. Are these polyps emanating from this cocoon thing back here? Yes. Then, yeah, I'm just going to end my turn. All right. We're probably going to have to deal with that thing in a bit. What does Houdini do? Hopefully he puts up more of a fight than Assembler. Uh, Houdini will assist against Stop, the... Stop, we're trying to get to the second floor. floor. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so whoever attacks it next gets advantage. All right, Marmorial. 
Moonlit corpse. I, I I don't want to do anything this turn. Do you want Why to move up? are you here? Why? Because I don't have any. I don't. I don't think I could hit anything. From you're a monk. Just punch it. Okay. But you like, could. What if I get hurt? <laughs> you could do like last oh, turn and oh dash to God, get close to the in the same asylum if you're afraid of getting hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I guess I dash forward. I mean, combat's that way. You could dash the other direction and go somewhere else in the dungeon. Oh, yeah, no. I, I fight. You don't want to go exploring by yourself in the darkest dungeon? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't want to get jumped. All right. Well, Wait, that's a lot, that's, that's a lot of things. <laughs> that's a lot of things. Think about it. Lamar, Actually, Lamar, hmm. Yeah. hmm. I could, guess I'll go, I can go, if I can go exploring. It's, it's either go exploring or follow Osiris into the dungeon. Follow All right. Osiris. You follow Osiris. You rejoin the group. You're now behind He Man, standing next to Osiris. There's combat ahead. It smells like burnt bats in here. <laughs> when it smell more like burnt pigeons? It smells like uh, burnt testicle. <laughs> oh, what does that smell like? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Zelder, top of the initiative. What do you do? Top of the initiative. Oh, um, I guess I'll try to smack two of the pigeon testicles out of the air <laughs> with the missile artillery. Although, I probably don't have any of my bonuses anymore because I'm too close. So I guess I would have three less initiative, although I think that still makes me first, doesn't it? They're 20 feet in the air, so you are still 20 feet away from them. Oh, uh, okay. Sweet. So I will try to smack two of them with the missile artillery. Uh, 17 is not quite a crit. I assume, uh, but it might be, uh, what should I say? It? Exceptional. Exceptional. Mm hmm so 2d12 plus 7 each. So they each take 21. Uh, I'm going to reroll 1d12. That's uh, a 9, so plus 7 damage. So they each take 28 damage. All right. I assume that kills, explodes two of them. Yeah. More than that, even. Maybe it hits uh, a few of them. They're very close together. There's not many of them left, and they're all terribly injured. They flap about. Um, do you do anything else? Um, I don't have many bonus actions, so no. I think I'll I'll just chill here. <laughs> Mad God, what do you do? Yes. Uh, we now have those... six individual polyps floating in the air. They're no longer a horde. Mm, yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, one. man. That's that's so convenient. <laughs> yes, it's so convenient. There's just one tiny, t one small, one little, tiny little problem. I don't have any multi-target spells. No. Aww. I guess no. use Eldritch Blast. Yeah, just Eldritch no. Blast a couple game, of them. Though. I will. I normally I use Zolder for that friggin' uh, what you call it. Okay, so I'm going to, assuming the combat will be over after this, uh, I'm going to use a bonus action to... Yeah, I'll have Scorpion do it. Action, Eldritch Blast, this polyup and this polyup. Yeah, give me some attack rolls. Pew pew! <laughs> pew pew. Is that the noise the Elders Blast makes? Yeah, it's not very uh, exciting. Yeah, it's actually. No. <laughs> that is not the sound Elders Blast makes. It's really kind of an embarrassing spell to cast. He, he you... has to use the somatic component of the spell as finger guns. Right. Finger guns and pew-pew <laughs> noises, that's how you Eldritch Blast. Oh, God. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> have, you, have you guys Every played, my um... Own... Shoot. It's like the Borderlands, and then Bo Borderlands 2, they have a legendary gun that makes pew pew noises. <laughs> pew pew oh, noises. Yeah, wasn't that like a cinematic of that where everyone was just like finger banging at each other? 
No, like you. it's an actual gun though in the game, and then when you reload, it screams out, "Reloading!" <laughs> it's a talking gun. No, but I'll have to show you that scene that I'm talking about uh, on YouTube. Uh, uh, just what I mean. Right, attacks. Anyway. Uh, I'm sorry, it's against yeah. the terms of service to show finger banging on Twitch. And yeah, Jimmy. it means something very different in America. Yes, <laughs> I know. I'm making the old South Park mistake of, hey guys, what's finger banging? You know, it's when you shoot your shoot your hands like guns. Ah, but no, it's actually, you know, very sexual. Oh. Anyway, uh, rolls! Rolls! First one, 26 to hit. Does that hit? It does. No. Oh, no. <laughs> How about the other one? Is it I exceptional? Think, I was thinking about the South It's exceptionally Park, uh, dead. He has four hit points. What about the other one? Formed like a boy eh, band. Eh. Second one, kapow! You missed! Look at that two. <laughs> a fucking two. Goes rip. wide. <laughs> no Look at joy. all that damage that I could have made. Alright. Rikaril! Oh. You're right up in the front Hang lines. On. Hang oh. on the pee picking minute. I still have my bonus action. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. What, what you gonna do? Uh, give me five minutes to think about it. No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. No, seriously. Um, has anyone taken damage? Mm, I don't think so. Well. Oh, uh, somebody got knocked on or Rickerl's taken damage. Nah, no, I'm gone. Zolda has full. I'm good. Rick Rill. Rick Rill has took damage. Full I, I said I'm good. I gotta heal up. It's my turn. Wait, these polyps just don't have very much tension to them. <laughs> I guess not. Uh, we... Scorpion will trash mobs. Scorpion will divine comfort uh, Rickerill. So I... Rickerill gets nine. I feel like we've got many... a point. The polyps, the polyps will be defeated. So, how many rounds did it take us to beat Assembler? Let's just say we're outside of combat. You defeat the polyps with a number of ranged attacks, and you are victorious. So, what do you guys want to do now? Yeah, hey, man. Can you get? Can you get me one of those um, bandages? Does anyone know the guy? Does anyone know the guy following us? Anyone? Yeah, who's that guy again? <laughs> yeah, who's he again? He, he just followed me in here. Father Arid walks up to him and money? gives him a handshake. His hand is <laughs> gigantic. Wait, I'm I'm confused. Was Memorial the one that stole from the bank? No. Yes. Yes, exactly. No. Yes, yes. No. Yes. Yes. No, yes. don't lie. <laughs> Definitely lie. Yeah, it's not, it's not Memorial. It's someone else. But I didn't know it was Osiris. Is it Osiris? Yes. Oh, it yeah, was forget more. Show. Forget more. Everyone follow Mad Guy's example. Who robbed the bank? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> A very short I, know I feel like it's the guy that's saying it's not him, to be uh... honest. <laughs> I don't care about I don't care about people who don't interest me. Obviously, he didn't leave enough of an impression. <laughs> That's a good thing because then you don't remember me. <laughs> oh no, it's all come flooding back now, thanks to my computer. <laughs> oh. Why the fuck are you here? I've been here for the past. I've been here for the past. Like I was here last week. Did you? Did you not remember? <laughs> can you can can we stab him in the ankle? Like. Not to kill him, but just uh, I want to stab him. I, I vote you should. <laughs> you literally questioned me about being a vampire a little while ago. He man just not turns around and stabs him in the ankle. Oh, that's a fine. How do you do? <laughs> listen, listen. I, tr I tried to steal from the bank, but I didn't succeed. So I don't think I should be being crucified this month. It's about the don't intention. Steal. Yes, but you still have your money, and I've I, I, I've been found in the code. I, and now he's about to stab me in the leg. Look, he's look like, at him. Bank robbery? <laughs> what? No. At worst, it was breaking and entering. Attempted breaking it was and entering. It, it, it was an attempt at breaking and entering. To a bank. He didn't even succeed yeah, at the back. stealth check to approach the window. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> didn't even succeed at the stealth check to approach the window. <laughs> exactly. So I didn't really do any crime. I I, tr I thought about it, but I never executed. I honestly it. imagine this is like he sees like an open gate and the bank is like in like uh, a forted area, and he literally <laughs> takes one footstep through the open gate, and suddenly everyone like I'm at the bar, and suddenly my eyes perk perk up, and uh, He Man's head like jerks up, and we're like, oh my fucking god, my money, wee woo, wee woo, <laughs> as fast as we fucking can. By the power of metagame, yeah, I hear a robbery. Yeah. <laughs> but on the other note, does anyone know the guy following me? Like, is he just—he just stood around that corner with me and then just 
just ignore him. He's useless. He showed up that one time we were fighting the uh, the shambler. He got <laughs> he was there. He's practically like, useless anyways. Hey, you behind the corner. <laughs> He's muted can he, himself. Can you hear me? He's muted. What, what happened? <laughs> me? Go <Don't> play. <laughs> my oh god, my he has yes. no me. Who are uh, you and why did you follow us here? Do you have a death with? I uh, know. I just need money. So you choose to go into the most dangerous place within a hundred mile radius? You do realize yeah, that every time you do realize that every time you don't contribute to the party, like attacking things, like so far you haven't done, you realize you don't get any money, right? We, we, we spend <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I did with the shambler, so yeah, but you didn't get any money from it. We exactly. No, I'm, I feel scammed. Oh really? I, I guess you, you feel scammed. Party, then. <laughs> we don't know you. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I don't you don't get scammed. to know me. All right. I got oh, nothing for doing level. nothing. What a scam. What a scam. <laughs> Five levels from punching a random minion got scammed. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, though you are part of this party, we do not grant you the rank of player. I don't know. Everybody should just say, but you're a <laughs> you're... monk. Don't you have a vow of poverty or something? <laughs> you wow. are now... You are now you, I wonder why I'm not a monk anymore. <laughs> what you are, though? By way have... of fighting, yes. Did Did you come in here unarmed? I know I have a sickle. That's all Lairon. you have. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's all punches. you. Lairon puts <laughs> his, hand into his, uh, his head into his hand, and he just mutters to himself. Sometimes I don't think I, I need to do anything else. Sometimes don't I fall. wish I could crawl into that red so, and never come out. You You oh, came into the most whirlpool. Let me get this straight. You're going to fight an elder god with your hand and a farming utensil. Yeah, pretty much. That's yeah, I was hoping there. I could find some other weapons in here, but... That's a winning plan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who's brave? It's Who wants to climb brave. inside the nest and explore for treasure? I'll do I'm it immediately. Bad, I immediately volunteer. Right now. Right. <laughs> I volunteer as tribute. I'm still so over here. This isn't dying. really a volunteer. This is just... So, Rikaril, I don't know if you heard, but I, I made a mistake. It wasn't actually bleeding, it was acid, so you don't need to use a bandage for that. Oh, okay, now I'm going to keep this bandage then. Yeah, I was reading the entry for a different <laughs> okay. monster that was, like, Take next to the poet. Yeah, sure. take the bandage. He's <laughs> joking, here, I handed it back. <laughs> you might buy 100 gold and never give it back. <laughs> yeah, here's hey. the back. What is that? your name? Me. Yes. It's me, Marmory. didn't you hear <laughs> you're, oh, your name is me. You are now known as me. Everyone okay with that? No, no, no. no. Everyone okay with that? No, yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm real the one, calling, calling him NPC. The one person that's, that should be okay with that is not okay with that. Uh, he man, know. you okay with that? He's his name is me. Please okay no. No, it's not. Um, I'm, I'm I'm cutting a giant hole into the nest thing. Thank you. <laughs> Don't you off. see the man's busy? Okay, hang on, hang on. So he man. Rikuril was already headed there. Um, yeah. Do you both approach the nest? Yes. All right. So you both I approach the nest. The nest well. uh, He-Man, your intent is to cut into the nest with your sword. Do you give it a, like a big chop, or do you just like stab into it? Yeah, I stab into it, and then I start like trying to saw and make like a doorway. All right. What's uh, what's Rikuril doing? Uh, I'm gonna use my flame sword on it. All right. Rikril's setting. I want to try to eat it. on the left, Since and he's setting it on fire sword? with a fire sword. Since when did you have a fire sword? Oh. They always have one. Since when? I don't know. I, just, I remember having one. Oh, I is, don't this know from your, is this from your blood maledict? Uh, never mind then. Can I eat a part of the nest? No. <laughs> Osiris approaches the nest and starts biting it. It's fleshy. I stab him. Oh, man. It's made of are some you, sort of are protein. You at least eating, are, are you at least eating the cooked part that's being cooked by Rick Rell's fire sword? Yes, yes, I am. Right, you go to the I'm, other I'm side. All right, food. I'll put you over here next to Rick Rill, who's cooking that side, and you're peeling off some of the leather and eating it. Delicious. I mean, not really. Oh, it actually, oh. No, it, oh. it's pretty, pretty bland, actually. Pulpy. I'll be 50, I'll be 50 gold. It's like if you took a if you took a if you took an ear of corn and you ate the husk, that's what it would taste like. What is? I'm I'm curious now. I've never done that either. I want to know. I want to know what a husk of corn tastes like. Not not good, I imagine. 
corn. <laughs> it's like eating grass. It's just fiber. Oiled, yeah. Wait, actually, can I rip off a piece of this? This nest thing? Yeah, you can rip off a piece it. if you want. Oh, okay. okay. Wait, Ninja, can I message you what I did during my downtime? Uh, uh, not during the game. We'll have to figure that out after. Alright. Because I'm going to be quite busy. But, yeah, we'll figure it out. When we're when we're doing downtime or town stuff or in between games, that'll that'll work. Um, you eventually cut into the heart of the nest. There's a, a honey-like substance in there. Uh, if you have a container, you might be able to collect some of it. Yeah, I'm gonna pull. I'm I'm gonna pull out one of the bottles I have and grab scoop some of it up in there. All right, you get yourself a bottle of royal jelly from the inside of the hive. Nice. Oh, I eat it straight from the tap. I put it into the magical test tube vial. All right, you want to yes. be able to reproduce Infin that infinitely? I don't Can know. I... Maybe I don't know what that stuff is. <laughs> I, from, I, I, I have an a idea. Giant hive Can in a eat it from the tap. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make the ultimate monster spear. It's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna have a giant bone for the tip, and the handle is gonna be wrapped and for and whatever those things are called, nest and giant skin. How are you gonna pick it up? I'll, I'll manage. <laughs> no, you're not that strong. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forge the giant bone into the tip of the spear. I'm gonna wrap the handle in the skin stuff, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. Oh, so, well. Anyways, you guys want to finish that? Those other monsters in the other room. There's Meta. another monster. <laughs> you haven't been in that room yet. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was getting ready to say there's monsters. Wait, I didn't notice this. They're, they're probably in there, but I no, I'm, I'm I'm not sure. Maybe they are. Oh, ninja! Can I go back and pick up parts of the body of the water demon? Okay. Uh, so the water demon is in the water. Um, his body is buoyant, and so it floats at the surface. Uh, do you have like a thing that you can hook it with, like a grappling hook or something? Lasso, maybe. Hold up. Let me check. Equipment. I mean, you should have a rope. Yeah, I do have rope. All right. If that doesn't right, work, I could always use the giant one. Make an attack roll. See if you can I... catch it. Wait, actually, can I like like poke it towards me with my spear? Is that possible? Mm, it's too far away. It's on the other side. Uh, uh, on the other side, poke it towards me, and then like pick it up from the other side. I'm gonna move your figurine over here. So the way it is, you're uh, you're standing. You're standing at the edge of the water. Let me get rid of this other polyp. Uh, he's gone. You're standing at the edge of the water, and the <clears throat> demon's body is floating over there. It's sort of gone to the other side. Uh, you could circle around to get it from the other side, or you could use a rope to try to lasso it from here with an attack roll if you want. I wanna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. All or nothing. I'm gonna use the lasso. All right. You Wait, will that just just roll like a normal d20? Yep, see if you can hit. Armor class Any 5. Nah, dexterity, I guess. Ranged attack, dexterity. My only natural 20 of the session is going to be this. Actual 1. Um, 18, 21. Oh. Alright. You hook it. And you're able to pull it over oh. to where you're at. Uh, what part do you want to harvest? Um, do you wish to harvest wait. scales? Do you wish to harvest How? a hook? Or do you wish to take the head? How large is it? It's very large. Um, can I also start carving into it as well? Like how many feet? How many feet is large? It is a 10 by 10 creature. Ten feet tall? Ah, oh, okay. Could it fit into a bag of holding? No. <clears throat> uh, Damn yeah. it. Survival check for this? I want to get, I want to get like a, a lot of scales. Mm -hmm. Well, Osiris got to it first, so Osiris can make the first survival check. Wait, what parts? What parts of it are there? So, like I said, you could take scales, you could take one of the hook hands, or you could take the head. Ooh, is there anything useful in the head? There's... It's more of a trophy. Demon head trophy. Ah, okay, okay. Um, 
The hook hands might be able to be that. fashioned into some sort of weapon or tool. That's uh, weird. The, the, I wanna, the I'm scales take the might be able to fashion into some sort of armor or wondrous item. You never know. I, I make a compromise with Rick Rowe. I get the two hook hands. You can get the scales. Deal? All right. Okay. Deal. You still All need right. to attempt a survival check. So let's see. Both of us? All right. Uh, 21. Uh, so... Rikuril, you get uh, 21 pounds worth of uh, Wastrelith hide. Nice. He's going. He's going to go well for armor. Wait, is, is ripping the hook like is ripping the hooks out that hard to do? No, you have to make a survival check to extract the the useful material from it. Uh, how much <laughs> did I get? 21 pounds. Oh come on. Uh I got a, got a five. All right. You get five you pounds of hook. <laughs> five? Five pounds of hook? Yes. Five pounds of Westerlith hook. Five pounds of Captain Hook from Peter Pan. Can I, like, go for the other hand, or? No, the other hand was destroyed. You tried to get that one, but failed. That's the result of your five. Ah, wow. Hmm. Had you rolled higher, you would have gotten more hook. Ooh, what can I do with five pounds of Worcester lift hook? Mm. What was this thing's AC again? Uh, 19. 19. I can probably use a bomber. Wait, can I take its teeth? Yeah, the head is still there if somebody wants to take the head. <clears throat> I want to go for the head. Keep in mind, it's large, so you take a lot of stuff, you're going to probably encumber yourself. Wait, how much does it weigh, precisely? Uh, well, let's see. A human head weighs eight pounds. This would weigh like four times that. It's like thirty-two pounds of Wasterlith head. I'll take it. Where are you putting this stuff? <laughs> um, and on, I'm, I'm gonna like attach it to my backpack. He Not wears it like a hat. Wait, actually, can I do that? He's like stuffed his entire head up the neck hole, so his face is just sticking out through the open mouth of the dead Wasterlith. Oh my god, the Wasterlith is alive! Kill it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to do that. Actually, thank you, Ninja. That is a genius idea. I'm going to wear the war. Sorry, no, I kill uh, Osiris. <laughs> <laughs> just the me. <laughs> the Wasterlith's still alive. It just got much, much shorter, and. A human body. Wait, actually, there's still other parts. What about the, what about the tentacles? Oh, it doesn't have tentacles. It has sort of like a fish body. Wait, so like the image you use isn't accurate? No, I mean, if you look at it, that bottom part is all just fish body. What, about, what about, about the hook hand things? So these are like, like uh, the arm. this part back here, this and this and this. These are all just like fins like you'd see on a fish because it's an aquatic creature. And Ooh, these, can I take the fins? These are all just fins, but uh, you already tried to harvest the arms, and that's why you were only able to get the the one hook. The other one was destroyed in Ooh, the can attempt. I, can I take the fins? Uh, the fins are of no value. None whatsoever? Nope. Not in the slightest? So you're, I couldn't convince anyone to buy Worcestershire fins. You're you're welcome no. to take hundreds and hundreds of pounds of worthless Worcestershire fins, but that's your call. <laughs> uh, okay, um, I that's it. I'm just done. <clears throat> I'm then harvesting the body. Zelda, are you still there? Oh uh, yeah. All right. So I'm just hanging. in. You've just what been standing that? around watching all of this harvesting go on for minutes and minutes. What do you what do you do while everybody else is busy? Um, racking my brain trying to remember the way back to that other room. The way. So remember we passed an entrance that still had a locked door, correct? So if you look at this board right here, so where you went right now is this hallway. So uh, that hallway connects. There's still this, right? That hallway connects right here. Right here is this edge right here. But we have not opened this door that we have the key to, correct? Yeah, you have not opened this door. Okay. This door over here goes to the staircase here. So 
I say to the guys who are literally just playing with a dead body at this point. So oh. if we're done mucking about, could we like check out oh, that the... last locked door? Yeah. All right, so Rikuru yeah, wants to check the door. southern door, and then there's the northern door, which goes to the staircase. You've seen that. We're still in the middle of looting the giant cyst that's spouting out insects. Well, Wait, can I, har can I harvest... From it. Is that, that it? Can I done. harvest the floorboard? At the... Can I harvest the acid from the... the All right, I couldn't hear you guys. I'm sorry. Nope. I, I can't harvest the acid? The acid is... Uh, it... Uh... I don't know what's the word. It bases itself. It like stops being acidic it after it erodes a certain amount of material. Oh. So I can't take it directly from the thing's bodies. Nope. Well, so they they, uh, gonna... they mostly exploded, so pretty hard. Mostly. So there's still some left. Little burnt. Yeah. Burnt, Incineration. Burnt by fireballs. Ah. Disintegration. Oh, okay. So Ninja, if they're gonna keep hacking away at this uh, all up here, could I just? And we're going to be here a while. Could I run in some investigation rolls in these side chambers, see if there's anything interesting? All right. Let me know which chamber you investigate and what your role is, and I'll tell you what you find. Well, I've got plenty of time to check each one, so I'll just do one, two, three. Okay. Does that work for you? Sure. I believe I have plus nine to investigate, plus eight. Okay. So I'm just going to do three rolls, and then we can figure it out from there. Okay. Uh, 16, so 24, 20, and 11. Why are you pinging, man? Go on track. I'm eating a biscuit. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you missed it. I said ignore that one. That's a whole mood. Why? So this one here was a 24. Because it's not there. That's this why. Was a 20. Because it doesn't fucking this exist. That's why. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. Are there any other monsters around? Okay, so um, with a twenty-four, you explore the northernmost room, Zelda. And uh, in this room, you find that the uh, the walls are moist and covered with like a fleshy, leathery substance, like out out of an Aliens movie. Um, mm -hmm. But you can see through sort of like the leathery, translucent that there was a. Uh, like a table set up, and it had some stuff on it, but it's underneath and inside of the fleshy mass. Do you wish to peel it back and uncover what was there? Yeah, is it loose enough that Mage Hand can peel it back? Yes. So I've got to actually get in there. So, okay, so you dig I'll around with your Mage, mage hand. hand, and you uncover what appears to be a torturing kit. The torturing <laughs> kit... <laughs> oh. It uh, it has many implements of torture, including cutting tools and hammers and saws, and all of them have like weird handles with like weird little grasping monkey paw hands. And it's freaky looking oh. torture kit, and the whole thing drips with magic. <laughs> oh my uh, God. Monkey's yeah, paw. You know what? Eh? I'm gonna go. It drips with magic, literally. Like I could just feel it coming off of there, huh? Yes. All right, I'm going to use uh, I, one of my identify scrolls on it. All right, you identify this. It's going to be the monkey's paw, isn't it? It fondles it's, you it... whenever a devil is close. Because the Wast Relic is nearby, <laughs> the little grasping hands will begin to fondle you. Wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> so you have... Wait, wait, it's, it's on this note oh, card right here. here. Oh, I see it now. Whenever a devil is close, the little hands, the little monkey paws will go. Uh huh. Who's carrying the bag of holding that has a loot in it? That has a what now? The, the, who's got the bag of holding that normally holds like the miscellaneous stuff that we sell when we get back to town? Yeah, that's me. Is it you? Yeah. I, I'm going to go to, 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 to Kima and say, this stuff is nasty, but somebody might buy it. Okay. Don't don't <laughs> don't let it fondle you. It, it's apparently it's triggering off the, the 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 corpse, the demon corpse behind us. It does. Hey, hey. Don't wait. <laughs> I mean, that's like a good alarm system, isn't it? 
I mean, it is a good alarm system, but it's nasty. It doesn't just like who, tell you it fondled you. Who tell wants you. to be fondled? Yeah. By uh, uh I do, I mean, but that's probably just fondle really your going. hand if you're holding it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Whenever you attach it to you. But also, you'd have to walk around with a creepy torture kit on full display all the time for it to work. Oh, you need the whole kit, not just like one of the implements. You get a free hand job. Well, yeah. the kit is an item, so you'd have to have the kit of torture devices like hanging from your belt in order for it to noticeably fondle you. <laughs> well, yeah. well, it's it's like... from your belt, it's not fondling your hand, man. <laughs> Can someone just like uh, have it in their pocket? So or hang something? On. Yeah, if it's See. attached to your belt and say the handles, let's just let let's say the hand is just underneath your navel. I mean, it's gonna caress something. It, I don't it. think it's giving you belly rubs either. You can just put it in your pocket. No, you can feel it in there, that. massaging your thigh. Just put it in your pocket. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, so, we're not thinking about the thighs. We're thinking something. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> kind of holding it at a distance from my body and just like, just just toss it in the bag, he man. This thing's nasty. It, okay. It's useful, it but it it's nasty. Magic dripping. Wouldn't it be triggered off of the demon? The, um, the demon head I'm currently having on. Devil is. Yes, place. yes. It keeps trying to fondle me, and and I'm. Wait, so it doesn't matter if the demon is dead or alive. Yeah, as long as there's a demon body close by, it works, apparently. Wait, do I get any AC from Like I head? said, it's effective. It's, no. it's just... No, nasty. your AC should lower if you're, whole, if you're wearing it. I, so, know that Zola, I never wore a hill within the first room, room. But can I loot this room? Uh, you... uh, I, I rolled a 20 for that room. Yeah, Zelda already rolled for all three rooms, so... I just I just did this one and then yeah, I was about good. to give him the item for the second room already. All right. Well, you could go ahead of him and say you were like, "Oh wait, there's loot to be had," and you ran ahead of him to the third room and that'll negate his third roll. I mean, it makes sense. My third roll was really parry. shitty, so you probably want to do that. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, Zolder, you find a shawl made of human skin, and when you uncover it with your investigation, the the shawl has a human face on it. And the human face is going to say, you're ugly. And then it's going to spit out a gold coin and say, <laughs> buy something else to wear when... <laughs> yeah, it says, you're ugly. Buy something else to wear. And it spits a gold coin at you. <laughs> well, I, I, mean, love I it. will pocket the one GP. <laughs> flip this, this, this scarf the bird and say, I, I'm just going to shake my head. I'm like, I, I, uh, what the... <laughs> the hell is going on here? <laughs> this the fondling torch get now a talking head. Yeah. Can we sell the head? Is I, even I'm not, I am not bringing a human skin shawl back into town, though. That <clears throat> nobody's gonna buy I it, am. and we might get the Inquisition tossed our way. So I'm leaving that shawl where it's at. I'm just pocketing the one GP. All right, I've marked it as left behind. Can I pick it up? You can pick it up. I have a lot of heads on me. <laughs> it's actually not a head. It's a shawl that has a human face because it's made of human skin. What, what does a shawl look like? A shawl is like a, a, scarf. a scarf that you wear around your neck. Except it's, it's like got a, a mini pole. Except like the end of the scarf hanging on your chest would have the human face and it just mocks you. Just belittles you and talks shit about you and then spits out a gold. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. But it only spits I'm out a gold leave. coin if you feel it. If the insult isn't enough to make you like literally like feel bad, then it doesn't spit out any money. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> I already took it. Though. You don't want it. <laughs> hey, you already have enough. Give me something. I, I have a monster head, <laughs> five pounds of monster head, a, a giant arm, warbler, warbler high up duel over it. You're just proving my point. <laughs> I, I, ju I just took a bunch of monster pieces. I, have I might have taken the loot. I'm just taking pieces of the things we killed. I have a sickle. <laughs> well, me. whose fault is that? <laughs> Not mine. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm your character. You, I would you literally I have the choice for starting equipment. Just add starting equipment. I don't know if I can do that or not. You can. Ninja, can you? you can. All right. Mad God, you explore the third and final section of the Bat Cave, and here you will find, Two with an roll. investigation roll of what? 
Uh, hang on. Uh, 15. <laughs> 15. Slightly better than Zelda's roll would have been. Uh, yeah, with a yeah. 15, you find in the corner of this room there is a bag. And the bag is Ventablack. Do you know what Ventablack is? Like, really black? I don't know. Now, Ventablack is a kind of black that was invented in a in a laboratory that's so so black that it absorbs all light like when you look at it it looks like it's not there so it is, it is a light uh, absorbing bag okay uh i'll send i'll send scorbeak to go over and touch the bag all right scorbeak touches the bag a black cat emerges from the bag and runs away with a hiss i look inside the bag you open the bag and look inside. A cat emerges from the bag and attacks your face. Uh, it has a... Scorbeak's face. I should reiterate. Scorbeak's face? All I'm right. looking through it. Yes. Scorbeak takes... Uh, two damage? Yeah, I think two damage. Reaction to Harvard. One damage. All right. The cat runs away. Right. Uh, I'm going to close the bag. Uh, I'm going to go to pick it up. Uh, with Leron's hands, not Scorbeaks. I'm going to go over to the rest of my party and say, guys, I think I found a bag where whenever you open it, it leaves out a cat. Like, can it literally, take it? You're, like, it you can't be serious. generates a cat. Can, 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 can I take it? Well, no, hang on. Let me just prove to the party that this is a cat no, bag. I believe you, but like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wait. Sorry, I thought Zolder was kind of talking for a second. That corpse? Nah, fuck that. No, you're not having the cat. <laughs> yeah. So, so my first line Kill something is first. me being a smart ass. Wow. You show me this bag okay. uh, later on. I. So, so to... I, I have to everyone... prove myself to get the bag. I urge to everyone. Uh... I recommend standing back because one of those cats was vicious and tried to attack my familiar. I open a and Chinese lady... restaurant. Here you go, Mom. <laughs> oh my. Oh, no. I, I go to one knee and I'm like. Here. I lay the bag on its side and I and I quickly open the top. You open the top. Here. Push, 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 push. A uh, Cheshire cat emerges and curls up in a ball and goes to sleep. Oh, I close the bag. Cat. Yep, it's definitely a bag that makes cats. It is a light devouring bag of cats that connects to the dimension of cats. It's just full of cats. Nothing else. Why? Wait, is, Wait, is, is Wait. it a normal house cat? Is it a normal house cat? It is a random cat. Cats. Yeah. So, it's like, random. can I make something out of this cat's materials? Please. <laughs> These cats are all Aww. magical, and uh, whenever they are defeated like any summoned creature, they simply evaporate into nothing. God damn it. <laughs> Stop trying to be, like, so what I'm saying is... overlord characters that harvest things. <laughs> so what I'm hearing is, no one probably wants this bag. So I can... Well, I'm funny. <laughs> Later on, like that. You know what this bag is great for? This bag is great for a rogue who needs to distract enemies. You just I, sneak I into a room and release a cat. A cat. Cafe with this, bag. <laughs> this, this bag is also great for someone that doesn't have any loot. Laron <laughs> Lair Lair stops for a second, looks to his companions, and goes, Wait a second, wait a second. Are we all in agreement that the piece of loot in this entire dungeon is a bag that creates illusory cats? This is great. You should give it to Marmorial because then every time it's Marmorial's turn and then he doesn't know what to do, he'll just say, I open the bag. <laughs> I mean, I could. I really could. Do that. Unleash the cats of war. Unleash the army. Uh, uh, should we start I... heading towards the other room? Yes, please. <laughs> Wait, nin Ninja, if, are there any monster parts I'm missing? I have the Scarface thing. Five pounds of hook, a warbler head, a giant arm, and hive leather. <laughs> no, you got it all. You got it all. <laughs> Sorry, that's just the sound of my brain melting. <laughs> all right. So, uh, do you guys, as a party, all go to the other door? We'll go to the other door. I'm making a token here, which I'm mm -hmm. going to call the yeah. Bag of Cats. <laughs> and... Uh, if anyone wants to try and grab it, it's theirs, but I'm leaving I'll try it to grab it. Go ahead. <laughs> Wait, doesn't this count as stealing? We, we, haven't, indo we haven't indoctrinated him into the party yet. <laughs> no. Yeah, he's not in the party. All right, guys, it's, um, no. it's 10 o'clock, so let's all take a little break, and then we'll come back for the second half in a few minutes. Sound good?
This whole D and D session for me has just been a break since I've just been nothing but doing. Just walking You've been voluntarily house. doing nothing your entire every turn you had. Well, we've been out of yeah. combat for a bit, so when when we're out of combat, the amount of uh, what you do as a character is really up to you. It's participate as much as you want if we're out of combat, and then when we're in combat, it's wait until your turn. <laughs> I would I, I would just like back. to give. I would just like to give a minor slow clap to Psycho Frog in the chat for chat for labeling the bag an endless bag of pussy. Nice. I'd like to, there's there's a slow clap. Basking it. <laughs> an endless yeah. bag of pussy. Uh -huh. <laughs> an endless bag of pussy. Just stick yeah, that... your dick in it. Yep. What do you mean? All the pussy guys, look at this. I got the Cheshire. I got the ginger. Black cat too. Look at this ginger. I got the black it. pussy. I got the ginger pussy. Oh God, no! Oh God, oh. no! <laughs> Wait, well, then you pull out one of those stick scats. Like, got the red right, head. Pussy. Oh God, I got small pussies. <laughs> I got big pussies. I got pussies that flap in the wind. <laughs> the pussy overlord. I, I, I'm glad my 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 off the cuff comment worked out well. Are you happy now, Ninja? Do you see what you've done? Are you so happy? like, is Corp is Corp just now in the party despite despite showing up or? No. Yes. No. He's he's more party affiliated. There, there there's no there's no initiation. Like, am I the only one who has to go through the initiation process? He's not being sure. initiated. He's not part of the party. He's more like a. What's the word? Uh, You're right back. Dang, I'm just the outcast of this. <laughs> we we, we feel back. bad for him because he showed up with his bare hands and sickle, so you're we're like protecting the, him. You're like the number one fan of the party that we're all trying to get. I hate of. all of you. I just so, want you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not you, here. Maybe if you upgraded the character and looked at the rules. If someone could teach me how to do that. In how to read. Just too. add, just add starting equipment. That's all we ask. If you add starting equipment, you'll be so much more useful. It's I don't easy. want to add two st stuff that's like too powerful. It's easy. Starting Go equipment is an option. Go online, type in the player's handbook, and read that because there's a PDF of it on YouTube. And on D&D Beyond, there's a button that right. says gold or starting equipment. I did that, and then yeah, it's starting it's quick stuff. I'm gonna take opportunity it of this just break. Automatically and... picks up for you. Have I, I don't think options of stuff. Like you... screen share is a feature on uh, mobile now, right? No. No. Not for me. I didn't update. It that. is. So it's, it's right there at the bottom. Well, I didn't update Discord. Ah. Uh... <laughs> it's really hot in my room. I'm gonna open my window. <laughs> All right. I'm back. Hey. Scarface, five pounds of warbler hook, the warbler's head, a, a giant arm, and a hive leather. Warbler. Ha. <laughs> Wait, did, did I also get? Did I also? Did I also pick up that sandler tentacle? Uh... No, you dropped it for something else. <laughs> I, no, I, I remember you saying you were gonna pick it up at some point. So. I thought yeah. You were... so, so should I add? So should I add sandler tentacle? Yeah. No, well. they dropped it for the. Uh, it's been two weeks though, so it's a rotten sandler tentacle now. Oh, okay. You're just carrying around a Shambler tentacle. Just hanging out your back pocket. Gross. Uh, Discord needs an update, so... Is that a Shambler tentacle in your pocket, or are you just grossed out to see me? <laughs> <laughs> just literally pulls out a Shambler tentacle. Yeah, it, it's the it's the former. <laughs> I, wa I wonder what kind of... the session I want... ends, I would like to get to the the second floor, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's also really or, or I, the other the other door thing. The other door too. I would like to get to the other door. If I if I, I wonder what kind somebody. of monstrosity of a weapon I can make with all of these. If I could if I could help kill something, would I be part of the party then? No. Hunter, if you, if you manage to help kill something big or save one of our lives, yes. Okay. We just be part of the party for a very long time. Be able to kill something big, yes. Uh, he's, he's level six. He could do it. But just if killing one, just thing killing thing. one big boss, and not being in the group for a while does not mean you're in the party. You're just worthless to us right now. 
listen, listen. If you manage to bare fist a, a second Sambler to death, we'll let you in. I can do that. <laughs> and by that, we mean, we mean solo. I know. I can do that. You want to solo the Sambler? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, I I want to I want to watch that. I actually want to watch oh. that. All right. So as a party, you're gonna move down the hallway and to the it, left, well, that, and then I, 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 that's going to take you to the first door. But you guys didn't want to go directly to the second floor, so you're gonna head down the hall and then back into the first area where the cultists were doing their thing, and that brings you here. And here's like the main hall, the first big room that you saw with the the altar in it. And, I still uh, ninja. my character this is tough. And then you're gonna be able to get to the door. And the door is Nin locked. Drop Quick question. Key. Yeah. Ninja. What kind of, what what monstrosity of a weapon could I make with all these pieces? Um have you played Soul Calibur? No. <laughs> Alright. Well in Soul Calibur they have a sword. You should just look it up. It's called like the Soul Edge. Make one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sword is gross. <laughs> I love those games. The Soul Edge is so great. <laughs> the Soul Edge. Is everyone back? Yeah. That's my yeah. favorite. No. What? I heard a no. Could be a lie. He's lying. <laughs> I don't uh, think he's really there. I drew a line on the map to show where the party's headed. So you're going to head to the unopened door. Who's got the big key? LBI. Oh, I got a question. What's up? Yeah. Can I add starting equipment now, or do I have to wait? That no, it's a bit too late, buddy. Next session. <laughs> you were supposed to oh. do that when you created your character. It's gone uh -huh. now. Yeah, but like, <sighs> yeah. So don't resize yourself because this board is tiny, and you're not going to be on it for long. <laughs> Resize of the boxes, different sizes. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't resize yourself because the board is too small. You're not going to be using it. So, uh, figure out your order. Marching oh, order. Like got the keys, so I should be the one opening it. Rika really in the front, He Man behind that. Who's next? Can I be behind, can I be behind He Man? Two people can be behind He Man because he's big. <laughs> in fact, Bad one drill. person could be next to Rika Real if they wanted. But I don't think anybody wants to. I'll are, be next are, to are you are you calling He Man? I'll also be behind He Man. All right. So, Mad Guy, do you want to put yourself up front? Zelda, are you gonna be in the back there? Did anything happen? Hey, that's supposed. To... Did anything happen with the bag of cats? What the hell? I think one. Of, I think you still have it. I said I'll be next to. Oh, not Rickerill. Zelda, and then. <laughs> well, I heard what you said and not what you meant. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I thought you wanted to be in the front. I thought you got brave for a minute. What are you doing? No. You're making yourself look <laughs> no. bad. Excuse me, I'd rather have a cannon fodder in front. Uh, Thank you very much. I guess I open the door. No, I'm real. Wait, I'm real. Are, real. are we going, are we going go. to the second floor? <laughs> Memorial's proving <laughs> himself. Memorial's been pushed <laughs> to the front. He's like yeah. chained to the I, I, I open the door. I open the door and push Memorial in it and then close the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the what price you pay for getting the bag people. of cats. Well, what if it's just, a, <laughs> it's just a bunch of loot and you close it in there and we don't know what's in there? Wow, that would, that would suck. That would be karma. <laughs> there you go, my <laughs> water now. He's in the other door. Alright, so Marmorial didn't put up a fight, I guess? So you're just going to let it happen? No, I'm, I'm putting up a fight. All right. Oh, you sure you want to duel? I have a vantage on this shit. Contested so, okay. grapple. Just a random stranger. Hey, you! Get you in that door. Beast form. You're not in uh, Marmorial, what's your, I, I'm what's in your my, athletics? Uh, I, I'm in my half. I'm in my half. Uh, I still have it. Right. Okay, so, um... <laughs> so, skills. Uh, in D&D, wow. in D &D, D &D, you have ability scores and you have skills. Uh, when you create your character, you pick a certain number of skills uh, based on your class and your background. Um... So, Apologies if you're heavy eating up hair. So, did you take the athletic skill? The athletic skill. So, well, that's the same thing. 
You already. Why did you re roll? You got a five the first time. Shut up. You got a five. Don't re roll. Shut up. <laughs> advantage. Yeah, you yeah, got a five. I don't know. I've already did the advantage for him. Marmorial doesn't have to roll. In Grit and Glory, the, the person being grappled doesn't roll, only the person doing the grappling. So I, I just need to ask what his athletics is because it sets the passive grapple resistance of 10 plus his athletics. Or is it 8? It might be 8. Let me double check that. Just go in there. We need you to check what's in there. I gotta tell you if I'm dead. How about we just, you know, all go in there? Like no, yeah. need to be in there. <laughs> Yeah, so it's 10 plus strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics. So you could use either of those two skills. I need to know what your number Dex. is, though. Dex 14 plus 2. Okay. Do you have the or acrobatic acrobatics skill? Plus five. Yeah, acrobatics plus 5. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to use acrobatics. That's going to make the number 15, which means Rickerl needs to hit a 15 with his grapple attempt. Yeah, I I, I only rolled it. That was a five. You already missed. Yeah. Didn't you have advantage? Did you roll both? Yeah, yeah. I've already already rolled the advantage one. Does the wait Rickroll? So you you unlock the door, right? Yes. All right, I I I solo through the front of the door and cartwheel <laughs> kick it open and okay. scream. Oh yeah! Well, like, hang on, hang like on. Let me let me put man. let me put Marmorial back in here because he resisted the throw through the room. So he's wait. That, that was cool. We're both shoved in since you're doing that. Ah. All right. So he man solos into the room. I'm gonna put you on the other side of the door here. Behind him. You know, right now I'm imagining like Rickerill and uh, Memorial have like this kind of dancing shoving contest and they're slowly spinning their way in through the door. And as they're <laughs> spinning and they're both like their arms are outstretched from each other, He Man just comes over and cartwheels with his arms like go inside their <laughs> arms. Like cartwheels over them. I imagine he just went over them with an acrobatic somersault or something. Um,. All right, so let me describe the room. So He-Man bursts through the door into this room here that's full of creatures. There's there's four ascended witches, and, or no, five ascended witches, and there are four ascended brawlers, and then the fat cultist who has been mocking you and sending summoned beasts to slay you. He's in the room here. He was looking at the corrupted altar. The corrupted altar here... Um, let me cut and paste it to make sure everybody's getting the right lighting here. You see the nice red lighting? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. The room's full of treasure chests, ancient heirloom chests. Um, and the back of the room is fleshy, like a living thing with thousands of eyes. But in the center of those thousand eyes is one gigantic eye that is not just an eye, but is also a mirror. A mirror that looks out onto space, onto the cosmos. The interstellar plane. Um, so the fat cultist touches the corrupted altar for a second, and the image changes from outer space to another area of a dungeon that looks similar to this, but not here, like some other part of the dungeon, like a like a mirror that looks through into like a like a More like a, fleshy like a one sided wow. mirror. <clears throat> So it changes from a mirror to a mirror you can see through into another room. Um, what did I miss? Glass. The entire room description is what you missed. <laughs> so He-Man bursts in as a uh, a big surprise, and I'll roll initiative here. Hey, yo. I mean, I assume this fat cultist was tracking us somehow, because it always, oh no, wait, we always interacted with those altars, didn't we? Wait, just really quickly, are we about to get into combat? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is what rolling initiative typically means. <laughs> I'll be right back. Not always. I mean, sometimes it could determine how fast you can catch the fish before someone else. <laughs> and that's fish. what I said typically. <laughs> actually, that, actually, yeah, that is a that brings back the memory of um, typically it's used for combat yeah so I fight someone you fight someone gotta go loot a chest nearby <clears throat> Mad guy, top of the initiative yes. what do you do? am I? oh okay 
Uh, well, I'm pretty damn far back from uh, the rest of my party. Um, I'm assuming there's still this giant gap between where he man was and where he cartwheeled into. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, can I see anyone from where I'm at? Maybe. I mean, if we if we assume from the table, I pretty much have. I think if the door is wide much... open, you can see one brawler. Yeah, I can see this brawler. Um, this brawler, what does he count as? Is he human, eldritch, unholy? Is he unholy? I think he's. He is oh. human. Oh, he is. But he doesn't count as unholy. Just human, according to the list here. Okay. Not eldritch. Uh, I'll just do um, as an attack. I'll do eldritch blast. Hang on. <clears throat> Thank you. As an attack, I'll do Eldritch Blast, and mm. as... Actually, no. The Brawlers have quite high hit, hit points, don't they? Yep. Uh, AC, I mean. They have quite a high AC, don't they? So... No. I'll do that when I can see more of them. I'll just Eldritch Blast the one I can see, and as a bonus action, I'll have Scorbeak do the... Uh, Toll the dead once he's been attacked. Well, if he gets attacked. Well, both. Uh, so, first attack. Uh, 26. A hit. Exceptional. Fantastic. So, it deals either 12 or 15. It does 15. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm looking at the wrong stats again. Uh... I thought it was odd. Normally, they have like 20 AC. <clears throat> no, no, no. They uh, 17, so a 27 would be exceptional. Okay. So, uh, 12 for that damage then. Uh, can I... And the second roll to hit... 18, barely. Do you want me to roll damage again, or can I just use that 15 I used earlier? Was that a separate roll? Yes. Uh, yeah, we, could, we could use that one. Uh, so another 15, that's going to put him at... 27. 27. Damage. Force damage. And, then I, Bam. and I would like to make him... Uh, have him make a wisdom saving throw, please. Doesn't that happen on uh, Scorbeak's turn? No, it, it's my bonus action. Hmm. Have... Okay. <clears throat> What's so it happens on my turn. Yes, uh, please. Nineteen. Nineteen. Jesus, that is very good. Uh, he fails. Uh, well, I fail. He does not take damage from Toll the Dead. Hmm. Next. Actually, no, not next. Uh, I'm going to move closer. I'm going to move from here to. Oh God. I mean, uh, do we assume the boxes are the same size? Mm. All boxes are five feet. Five by five. There we go. Wait, is that right? Five. Five. Uh, I yeah. only had to make the board smaller to fit it. There you go. Okay. Mad gets closer. Zelda, what do you do? Uh, let's see. So, one, two, three, four. Five, six to be where I'm gonna move um, to the space where Rufro's at, and then use my teleport to move right up to right in front of the door. So I'm just gonna be, I guess, like right here. All right. I'm gonna peek around the corner and see. I assume this whole mess. A bevy here. of lovely ladies. And I'm gonna go... The lovely oh, ladies lick I... their luscious lips. They're they're nice and bunched up together. They are. Oh, how wonderful. And I'll say, well, you know, I can do one thing, and I can do one thing well. And that's cast the fireball right in their face. Alright. DC 17? Don't you have to be able 16. to see, 16. like, don't you have to be able to see, like, that area? You can. I'm peeking around the door. I'm cat at corners. I'm right here. You are in the... Oh, you teleported to get there, did you? Yeah, yeah. Can't you teleport? So Can't basically, you my teleport? movement took me to where Rikaril's space was, and then I used the teleport to move the next two squares to be right in front of the door. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. Are you counting ally space as difficult terrain or not? What's the damage yeah. on that fireball? Um, 86. Uh, ooh, that's a pretty good one. That was a 39 strength fireball. All right, 39 or that 19. That one was spicy. Okay, so the fireball explodes with tremendous force. Um, this one that had 27 damage takes a further 39. Puts him at 66. He survives, but he's badly damaged by the explosion. Uh, this other brawler here, uh, he's going to take 39 damage from the fireball. Um, this one here, also 39 damage from the fireball. The one further back ducks behind his friend and only takes 19. The Ascended Witch behind him only takes 19. This Ascended Witch in the back of the pack here uh, takes 19. But these three that are closer up all take 39. So I can group select and give them all 39 damage. Uh, the Fet Cultist Priest, um, he makes a save and takes 19 damage. So when the cultist priest is he hit, is... what's up? He's eldritch, right? Uh, the dark priest. Let's check the list yeah. here. Eldritch beast, yeah. Okay, no, it's just damage resistance. Sorry, I was just checking if I had a bonus damage, but it just had resistance. So. All right, cultist priest. He's got. Uh, he's got the 19 damage, so he was right in there, but he made his save just barely. So he ducks down behind his corrupted altar and takes a little less damage. Uh, the fireball sets everything in the room on fire. The whole place is a burning mess right now. Uh, all of the cultists are screaming on fire. It's it's a, a hellscape inferno in there right now. Um Anything and then else? I'm going to duck back behind the door while patting, giving a quick pat to uh, He Man on the back saying, You got this, right? <laughs> All right. So, uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Regrill. All right. I'm going to go in. Uh, I'm going to go in and uh, shoot a cross bolt. That's a natural 20, 7 damage. Second one, 21, 11 damage on the fat cultists, both of them. Hang on. Well, where are you? You're, you're not even I in the room yet. So 5, 10, 15 is going to put you on the door. Uh, but you well, have I'm to move through face people, face. so it's like uh, 20. You could probably end up right in front of me. 5, 30. Man. Like, you might have to dash That's... to get into the room because there's people in front of you. Like, way right next to the door. Yeah, he is right next to the door. I moved him. He was no, back he... here. He was uh, next... No, give, him, give me a... He was... I opened the door. I should have been, like, extremely close to it. He was... Well, then somebody yeah. moved you, because when I went over there and looked at it, you were, like, three spaces back. He is three spaces back. One, two, third one there. All right, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Uh, if you towards the combat fireball. Well, he's Wait, a, technically he opened the door, turns, so but... he should be, in theory, in this right square right me. here. Did I miss my turn? Yeah. Not yet. No. Okay. But right. so here's the thing. I got the man. So that natural twenty on the fat cultist, seven damage plus three more for mankind hater. Uh, ten yeah. damage on the nat twenty, and fourteen damage on the second attack. So the cultist is not human, so your mankind hater is not gonna. Oh, yeah, so then it's just 
10, so she gets 11 plus a 7. 18 damage? 18 damage, natural 20 in the first one. Okay, so with your critical hit, does anybody have stress? Uh, Zolder does. Alright. So, Zolder, you're going to lose four of your stress. Yes. Rikril, do you have stress? Yeah, I got like two left. Not anymore. Alright. And your critical effect from getting a critical hit with your shot is going to be... Um... Hmm. It says you're going to go first on the initiative order. Nice. <clears throat> so I guess on the initiative counter here, give yourself plus 15 for a turn. <laughs> All right. All right. So uh, Rikarul got in the room, took a shot. Scorbeak. Wait, what are uh, we... Yep. Wait, what are we fighting? You have broken into the fat cultist room and are battling his entire cult. <laughs> Fuck. If you look at it, um, if you look at it on the stream, you can see the uh, enemies arrayed before you. Can I genuinely wait? Can I actually make the soul edge with this weapon? Ten enemies. Well, you can make something like it, visually like it. A bunch of eyeballs and weirdness. I want. I want to put the scarf on it and make it alive. A <laughs> living blue. Scooby Sorry, is going... we're trying to fight things. I know, right? Uh, Scorbeak is going to uh, fly over to this square, and uh, he's going to cast... Oh, no, wait, it's his turn. He can't... I need to remember this shit. Um... Told the dead on the same Ascended Brawler that he tried last time. Uh, this one. I keep forgetting, but every time roll some damage. it's Scorbeak's turn, he can't make an attack roll, and every time it's my turn attacking with Scorbeak, he can't make a saving throw. It's really weird. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. It hit. Uh, yep, sorry, yes. Well, make a wisdom save. I did. It hit. Oh, okay. Six. Six. Puts him at 72 damage. He lives. Ooh. <laughs> These guys have a lot of hit points. They are burly. All right. Uh... After after uh, Scorbeak, Father Ered. Alright. I don't know if Father Ered can get anywhere. Let's see, how far away is he from the door? One, two, three, four, five. So that'd be six just to the door, huh? So to get here would be six. Father Arid approaches the gate. What the heck? Just gonna get this out of the way. Uh, 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 don't do that. This is the door. Beating into my beating into my ears goes right down my spine. Are any... That's as close as I can get without falling over. I don't know why, but it's he's in despair. It's a double door that opens sort of like this. It's probably because of the bird. It's the bird. Um, he's got 10 foot teleport, but that just puts him in the same square as uh, E-Man, so that's not going to work. Who's the small guy with purple-looking clothes? Zolder? Can Zolder? he occupy the same square as an heirloom? <laughs> Same space as what now? Ninja, can he occupy the same square as an heirloom? Uh, you could get on top of it, yeah. Alright, he'll use his dash action, because it's all difficult terrain, to move through his allies and just end up over here. Alright, so you're going to stand atop the chest, the heirloom chest in the back. So, that's going to give you a little bit of elevation. Like three or four feet off the ground. Good enough. Go. I'm not sure how that worked, but it did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, after Father Arid, He-Man Bubs. 
going to rage seeing all of these people in here, especially the fat cultist who's been sending so many enemies after us. And that I'm going to start killing these people. Brawlers. The brawler looks really hurt, right? Badly wounded. Bloodied even. Badly wounded. I will finish him. Oh, what's with my damage rolls? Why is it like this? Should be five. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sixteen hit. Mm, against the ascended brawler. Brawler. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, brawler seventeen is his AC. It misses. Okay. Uh, I swing again. Twenty-four. Battle hit. Uh. Oh, this is supposed to be. I'm raging, so it's supposed to be two more damage. Uh, 23 does like finish him off. It does. Yeah. Uh, um. Oh, for my bonus action. Wait, no, my bonus action, I raged. Uh. Did you use the okay, uh, special mind. rage ability? Did you roll oh, for that? Yeah. Do I have to remind you of that every single time? Only every week. <laughs> Lamaria, yeah, only every week. Type, if you type in the stream chat, that Memorial guy seems OP. <laughs> no, what? I'm not even watching the stream. OP bag of cats. Uh, <laughs> I summon around me 15 feet of vines that is difficult terrain for my enemies. Let's, so uh, vines now fill the fleshy ground. And use that as a marker of the location. Yeah, Memorial's really overpowered. We should go gang up and killing. <laughs> if we can. Steal his bag of cats. Yeah. If we can, you know, like he might just single handedly beat all of us, you know. He, I mean, he does have cat. infinite cats. Can you defeat <laughs> infinite cats? Can, wait, can, he just, can he use it as a bag of holes? And like, everything he takes out comes out. He doesn't have like, infinite cats at any particular point. He has no. infinite potential cats. One at a time. But see, if he catches you in a pit trap and then he just dumps one cat after another in until you die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's a way to that's a way to avoid pit traps. Friggin' oh no, how do we cross this ravine? I'll get my bag. Five thousand corpses of cats later. Oh no, but remember it's like Tetris, because every time the cats at the bottom die of being crushed and suffocated, <laughs> they clear out like Tetris blocks. Oh no. <laughs> that's fucked up. Hey Father Arid, give me a downright beep. Uh, done right beat. Oh my god! Tetris theme. Alright, cool. Uh, that's my turn. So now, Cyrus. Oh, really? Fuck. I can't believe it. Yeah, I, I just slap things real quick. So you only killed one? You only killed that one? Yeah. I was thinking I was going to get a third attack when I kill it from my feet, but I forgot it takes a bonus action to do that. and. Rage takes bonus action. Well, hang on. Wait. Didn't... Your first attack missed, your second attack killed it. You got nothing else? Alright. So, um... Yep. Osiris, you're a little bit farther back. Uh, let's see. So, from here you can go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Wait, wasn't I behind He-Man? I put my... I said I wanted to be behind He-Man. You were, but then He-Man moved up. So now uh, you're moving up to where He-Man is. You, you could... were behind He-Man. You're also behind Caster and Memorial. But what? I told you, you're behind He-Man. Just not directly behind him. All right, so <laughs> one move puts you behind Zalder outside the door here. What do you want to do? All right, Do any? does anything in the room look non-human? A fat guy. The fat guy? Everything looks human. Yes. I think you can only see this one here. Wait, I, I can't. The stream's a bit delayed. I have to wait when you say this one here. You can only see... 
So everything I see looks human, or everything in a room looks human. Everything in the room is human, except for the fat cultist priest, which you can't see. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Can I move up in front of He-Man? All right, so you're going to use a dash to get even further into the room. Wait, a dash? Yeah, it took, like, a full move to get here. So, let's see. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20... Five. You can go here or here next to the fat cultist priest. Which do you prefer? Wait a minute. Can I like um does it oh, Do you wanna be up I... against the wall or do you wanna be out in the middle of the room? Uh up against wait, hold up. I'm just deciding. Um hmm. you can attack this fat cultist with your weapon from right here. Yeah, wait. I, I wanna. I wanna be like in a. Uh, fuck. Uh, However, this is a dash to get in here, so it won't be this turn. Actually, can I simply move n next to Zolder? All right. So instead of moving into the room, you could actually do that on your first move. Um, if you take oh. a diagonal, this would still be just your movement that you put here. Yeah, I want. Yeah, I just I want to end up next. Wait, now I want the other side, like his left. Zolder's model is left side. I'm sorry, that's not a space. Really? Hmm. These spaces don't exist. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. You could just delete the lines, but no. Or use black. <laughs> I'm afraid if I delete them, it'll delete these ones you drew over here because they go all the way across. That I'm, um, can I end in a square next to He-Man? Yeah, you could be I'm either behind He-Man next to Zolder, or you can be inside the room next to He-Man and the, the cultist. Yeah, I want to be next to He-Man. All right, so you're in the room next to He-Man, also adjacent to the fat cultist priest. That requires a dash to get in the room, and you don't have bonus actions, so it's going to be on to the next. Wait, 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 does, does he have the, is he within 10 feet of me? Yes. All right. Okay. But also, quick question: What was I getting ready to ask? That's his fucking trademark, isn't it? Quick question. <laughs> I was gonna ask something, and I. Got it. It's okay. We'll come back to it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, the fat cultist priest. Does anything on him look lootable? The fat cultist priest wears an ornate robe, gold and black. And I can't see under it. Where? He is not currently exposed, although the fire is burning his robes. Ah, okay, okay. All right, that's that's a lot. That's okay. Houdini. Houdini. Hmm. It's funny you fixed it and then you broke it again. <laughs> Well, I will go and assist against the uh, fat cultist. Okay, after Houdini assists the cultists. Okay. The first cultist approaches Father Arid, and what he's going to do is he's going to. Uh, he's going to attempt to rend for the new god. And he slashes with his clawed hand with a 27 to hit. Oh, that's exceptional. Owie, owie, owie. Okay. Um. Uh, and. Looks like 19 damage. Damn. All right. He, he hits with supernatural strength, an incredible flurry of monk-like martial blows that he delivers with his clawed gauntlets. Rend for the new god. Uh, then um, this one is going to move 
over to Osiris. Uh, it's like Marcel Law from Tekken. Wait, he he's is he move? Wait, he's moving towards me. He's moving towards you. You have a spear, right? I finally get to use this feat. I want to use my Sentinel feat. All right. Yes. When did you get Sentinel? I've always had it. <laughs> so if you hit with that, which you did not, it would have stopped him. Wait, what? I I didn't attack yet. Oh, is somebody else do rolling? Yeah, Long's rolling uh, to confuse I was, me. I was, attack I was attacking to hit this guy because he's attacking Father Aaron. But it was... Okay, well, you should say something rather than just rolling. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to... No, 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 stop, stop. Because you got interrupted. So, He-Man. He-Man makes an attack. Ah. And it misses. And then, this guy attempts to move over here, and you can make your attack roll. All right. I'm going to attack with my spear. <laughs> Wait, if, if I'm, if I'm like, do I use it one handed or two handed? Is that my, is that my choice? Yes. Okay. Although I, you've been taking shots with a ranged weapon. So I think your other hand probably has a hand crossbow in it or something. All right, so I'm going to just attack and run me with the spear. 22 to hit, 5 damage if it hits. All right. It hits. And that stops him because of Sentinel, right? Yes. All right. So he doesn't manage to close the distance. Um, Wait, it takes away all of his me. movement. Give me a moment. You can... Do I only get one reaction when it's not my turn, like in the, like the entire combat? Yeah. All right. It's every turn. Every turn you get one reaction, not on your turn. Okay. It refreshes each time your turn comes up, and then you have it until your next turn comes up. All right. So, yes, I finally get to use that feat I've had the entire <laughs> this entire time. All right. So he moved. He got stuck. Uh, this one's going to follow with uh, a move into that spot. And he's going to attack Osiris. Uh, he's got a 19 to hit. Does that hit? What's your armor class, Osiris? My AC it is 16. That's a hit. Wait, who hit me? Um, the brawler. Ah. Wait, is, is he within range? Yeah. He runs across the room. Face. He runs across the room from here to here, doing a flying acrobatic leap over the ladies here. He lands in the square here and he starts doing martial arts kung fu moves on you. He pummels you with a 10 hit combo for 22 damage. Okay. <laughs> All right. This Ascended Witch in the back of the room is going to cast a summoning spell. Her summoning spell summons a Bone Devil. Bone Does that mean she's concentrating? Summoning spells do require concentration. Do you want me to get her a loop? I do not. Why? Scared we'll focus magic on her. Let's see if I can get them all in the back like so. It's because you're running away, isn't it? They're not even on spaces. Are they on spaces? I can't tell. The spaces go off the board a little bit. Mr. Krabs! She summons a Mr. Krabs. The one next to her summons a Swinatar. Oh, man. Uh, this battle's going to take all night. <laughs> yep. Uh, this one summons... Uh, let's see, she's going to have to go here. This guy. They're summoning all of the different dungeons at once. <laughs> Okay, and then the last one, she's going to cast a healing spell. Or no, she doesn't have a healing spell. She has four. Fate's Reveal. There's five of them. 
Oh. There's this one in the, in oh, the corner here. Um, Fates reveal. She chants a uh, target creature within 30 feet. Uh, He-Man, make a uh, DC 14 wisdom save. Wisdom save. Uh, pass. 19. All right, no stress damage. She tried to hit you with that stress. <laughs> okay, so... They summon a crazy amount of summoned creatures. Um, that's, let's see. Uh, that's these ones in the back are all concentrating. All four of these. And this is the one in the corner by the wall and the treasure chest. She was the one that did the stress damage. Marmorial, Gloom Dude. What's good? Marmorial. Here you stand, yeah. out in the hallway, looking into the room where tremendous conflict is going on. Just I tackle the closest living thing next to me, or close to me. And... Let's see, 5, 10, 15. Well, that would be Zalder, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you could, you could run into the room past your allies and get into combat yeah. if you wish. All right, so yeah. you rush in between He-Man and Zolder and Osiris, putting you in this space here. From here, you have options. You can either attack the Ascended Brawler that's fighting Osiris or the fat cultist priest that's been uh, harassing the party. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gerard, what's the better option here? <laughs> Is he not here? <laughs> Hold up, hold up. What happened? What happened? Uh, I get to fight either the cultist or the uh, or something else. And what are you? What either the brawler I, that's I beating up Osiris or the cultist. <laughs> do you want to go for I, the boss did, or the minion? Why did, I, why did I need to come back? Because <laughs> I don't know what to pick and I don't want to <laughs> die. <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> waiting my turn. I think you picked the wrong room to walk into if you don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Then. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll attack the cultist. There's so many Fury of blows. Row, it's absurd. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all, all I hear is, wait, he's probably not even here. Wait, what's going on? So oh, you right. burn one of your few key points. You enact your bonus action and your action to take a three attack flurry of blows. Three? That's pretty nice. Oh my god. I had a 15. Okay. The Fat Cultist's armor class is 16, so that first attack misses. What? Oh. Still got two more chances. Yep. Oh, okay. Flurry of Blows is three attacks, so you get another Holy one. Holy shit, what is this rank score? <laughs> You're all damn <laughs> Why are you doing zero damage with your punches? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't enter damage on that. Yeah, he probably has entered damage rollers. So that's going to hit. An 18 does hit, but you're going to need to... Uh... Let's see, what does is, what is a 6th level monk do? D8? No, definitely not. 6th level monk? Uh, hang on. D4, D6, right? D6 probably. I think it's a D8. I'll look it up. I'll look it, up. it is, for their martial arts, it's a D6. All right, so roll a D6, ah. and then you're going to add your... Dexterity. Uh, probably dexterity mod. And your proficiency. Wait, how do I? Wait, no, this... no, no you don't have that do I... damage. Six, one d six. One d six plus your dexterity modifier. Is it dex or is it strength? Or can he pick? He can it's pick dex. whatever's higher. I would say strength because it's plus three. Yeah, strength. Plus three. Because you can use dex instead of strength. It's an option. Either way. So. Hands are a finesse weapon. One d six plus dex, three. You can. I hope this is right. It's not. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you forgot the you forgot the one in space one d six. What? It's one space one d six. Okay, I got it. Yeah, it just comes out eleven d six. You lied to me. It works for me. Why is it not? Hmm. 
Avery broke. <laughs> I think Avery literally just had a like a brain explosion. What is going on? I never changed it, so it should still be one. First, it yeah, it's still one. I just did this. Wait, it's then what's one. Oh, you forgot the roll. Roll the word roll. Ah, there you go. Oh. <laughs> uh, we all had a bit of a brain fart there. Gotcha. Yeah, I never use Avery. So, roll that one more time. Hopefully. No, still didn't do it right. Roll that one Wait. more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. <laughs> what the fuck? One more time. <laughs> ah, there it is. You have to type one roll as, as one word. Oh, then space one d6. Mm -hmm. This is more complicated than I remember. I think I just do it impulsively when I do it. I don't really there we go. There you go. So it's nine. Max damage, nine. Okay. He's got 46 damage on him now. You pummel him with that attack. Does he have one more? And you still got one more. So... Three hit combo. What's that third hit? Mm, 21's a solid 21. Hit. Roll the damage again. Oh, wow. You're actually doing damage. What is your strength? Like, <laughs> like, this doesn't make sense. Proficiency bonus is added on to the strength modifier. No, it isn't. Why is, is it, why is it plus six? Isn't his... Uh, well, see, one of the problems is his proficiency is higher because of grit and glory, so technically his attack mod should be like uh, an eight, I think. Plus if eight? If he's got plus three from strength, don't you guys all have plus five proficiency? We all have uh, plus, plus four. four. Wait, no, plus five? Plus four. All right, so... Um, so he should have a seven to hit modifier? So he should have a seven, yeah. So you do another eight damage. Uh, Nine plus eight. Fifty-four. All right, so Marmoreal jumps in there, does a bunch of epic kung fu moves to the fat cultist <laughs> priest. The fat cultist priest, uh, his hood falls back, revealing his inhuman form and his tentacles. Like a Free monster parts. Did you? Okay. You. <laughs> <laughs> just this, this visible gross. Visible, visible, broke. <laughs> just, just says ew straight in his face. <laughs> Rikuro, wait, it's your turn. Wait, wait, yes. These are, these are. Right. Go I'm gonna go up to the fat cultist and say, "Can we do something else that's not boring?" Oh. As a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you talk shit. Then immediately miss. You're saying. <laughs> Second one hits. No. Uh. Ten, 10 damage. 24 to hit. Uh, does it do necrotic damage also, or is it not doing that? The, oh, it's yeah, magic with piercing, 20. only on nat 20s. Only uh, on nat hang 20s. on, uh, do we have that battle ballot still? No, that that was that was a whole nother room, oh, yeah. my dude. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Alright, so... Yeah. All right. 10 damage? Time ago. Yeah, 10 damage. Hang on, who are you attacking? The fat cultist. So you move oh, from here to here, I guess. Ten feet up, and then attack diagonally, and you do ten. Are we still on the first round? No. We're on, no. like, round three. Are we? No, it was round two. Well, I just rolled the new initiative, so it's round three. Wait, my initiative is off. We don't have battle ballot. All of ours might be. Why the? F oh, I was about to say, why does Rickerel have twenty-five initiative? But he had that. Because one he goes first on yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Just make sure, uh, Rickerel. Make sure you set your initiative back to normal now that we've rolled it. Because he got that critical hit, he gets to go first. So he gets in there. He makes his attack. He does his ten damage. Um. So what's that put him at? 64? 
let's see. He was at 54. Now he's at 64. And all right. So after Recreal lands that solid hit, Zelda, what do you do? Um. Uh, hmm. <laughs> the room has just become filled with summoned creatures. Do you have any more fireballs? I have one more. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's exactly what's about to happen. <laughs> Fire off my. That's Wask, DM. That's Wask. There's okay. even more targets now. Would you like to fireball? <laughs> We're all in the room. <laughs> yeah, yes, if I do here, I get everybody. I also happen to get Rikaril, Memorial, and Osiris, but I will spell shape and uh, Houdini, but I can spell shape around four people, and I will do so for those four. I think that nails everybody, although this guy is kind of maybe a questionable to kind of go and just do the corner of his. I'm more concerned about making sure all the concentrating witches get hit. So the DC is going to be 10 or half the damage. How much damage that? is that going to do? Uh, let's go find out. It's a DC 16 for <laughs> big damage. Bless you. Hold on. Bless Bless you. Uh, Thank you. Where's my roller? Uh, not as great as last time. 32. So 32 or 16. Okay, so I've got three brawlers. So this is a dex save. Yeah, D16 dex. All right, he's got plus two. So brawler, um, 21 and five. So, and what's the other one? The other one is another fail. So two fail and take 32 damage. And one takes 16. Let's see. Let's Who's say... been attacked so far out of our party? Uh, Me. Father Arid took 19, or 20, yeah, 19 damage a little I bit got ago. Sit, not me by a boy. He's almost bloody. Osiris took how much? I'm, I'm, two points to, I'm two points below. Wait, I am one point below half. Which is out of what? I I am at twenty out of forty-two. I assume you're gonna roll for the witches before they're summoned. Ninja. I haven't gotten to them yet. Um, it was thirty-two, right? Thirty-two or sixteen, yeah. Oh, sorry. And the DC is also sixteen. All right, so here we go. Um, actually, was he in the blast area? Yeah, I don't think he was in the blast area. Hold on. It cut us through the corner of the square, but it's not a big chunk of it, so. Yeah, I'm going to give him his health back. He wasn't in it. Uh, so this witch over here, the, the witches have plus six on their dexterity, so that's going to be a little easier. Uh, she fails with a 10, so she takes 32. Okay, so she's got a DC 16. She makes it. All right, and then... Let's see. This one over here tries to dodge the fireball, and she succeeds. And she's going to take 16 damage. She's got to make a concentration check. All right. So it's going to be 10. Uh, DC 10. I thought it was the amount of damage. Isn't it related to the amount of damage it takes? 16, and then uh, it's half the damage or 10. Because half the damage is only eight, I use ten oh, instead. Okay. Gotcha. okay, so um, so she took half the damage. She made her save on her summoned creature, and then this one, she makes her save. She takes sixteen damage. So 
it should make for concentration. Uh, yes, she makes her concentration, and then this one, she fails her deck save, she takes the full 32. Uh, puts her at 71 damage. Ooh, she's really bad. Really bad. Um, and then her concentration check, against 16, she's got, uh, let's see. 16. She made it. Just barely. All right. So all the concentrations managed to stay up, and they took a shit ton of damage. So your fireball erupts in an enormous blast. Everything is badly wounded. All the summons are going to take damage too, so right? I guess so that's, yeah, and the fat cultist, if you haven't already rolled for him. There's a ring around... Oh, never mind. All right. The summoned creatures are caught in the blast of the fireball. Boom, 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 boom. The fat cultist priest tries to recoil from the blast and only takes 16 damage. But that still puts him at 80 damage. Um, he's bloodied. He's looking bad. Uh, he is revealed to be very non-human. Uh, let me mark that as 80 damage. That, I honestly thought that was some kind of goofy face for a second there, because the skull on... the two skulls on his eyes, compared with the mouth, just looks like a guy going... <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So these are... how many monster parts are in this room? Tons. A lot. A bunch of them will disappear because they're summoned creatures, so they don't count. Most of them. How much? How much of them won't disappear? Uh, the the human oh, wow. parts. The human parts you don't want are the parts that are not going to disappear. Wait, wait, wait. Who said I don't want the human parts? Come eh, on. you might. You <laughs> might. Whatever. All right. So Zelda, did you have anything else? Uh, Big bad boom. Bonus action. I don't think he's gonna move. He's happy peeking around the corner. So yeah, he's gonna unpeek and power behind the door as he uh, likes to do all right so you softened up the the whole horde of enemies now let's see if you can clear him out all right he's gonna tap his hands again and say all right i'm out he man like go to work he's burnt through the spell all right uh, i'm gonna use a bonus action to drink uh my third potion of haste on my bandolier does not uh, and get to work what don't you have like three charges, and you've already used two? Well, it's not. It's not the if you're if you're thinking about the that refilling vial. It's not that. Like I filled a bunch of like extra flasks that I had. Right. Okay. Yeah. And he so handed out some I, of the other melee types. Yeah. Uh, so I drink another potion of haste, and then. Well, first I'm going to move... I can't move my freaking character, but I'm going to move into these four spaces. All right, so you move over one space. Center, center myself, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to attack the fat cultist priest. It's one of my attacks. Wow, okay, that's a crit fail. Crit fail. Wow. Oh. Yay. I want a oh, reckless attack them. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you embarrass yourself with your poor showing, but nothing remarkable <laughs> happens. You miss your attack. I laugh at okay. him. I laugh However, at him. there is stress involved, so let's see. You take nine stress, and others take eight. I have 48. Right. Thoroughly Can embarrassed. Can I laugh at him falling? Yep. I want a reckless attack. <laughs> if it's too late, I'm supposed to do that on the first attack. Okay. Um, second attack. Eight does eighteen hit the fat cultist? Eighteen hits. All right. So does this mean the natural one didn't happen since he reckless attacked? No, I, I'm supposed to declare that before my first attack. So right. Too late. Uh, twenty-eight points of damage to the fat cultist. All right. You cleave so into him, and his damage. meaty body just bends around the blade, surviving somehow. Okay. 
I will take my third swing against him, trying to finish him off. All right. 20 to hit. 20 hits. 32 points of damage. All right. You bring the blade down. <laughs> Dead. All right. Where's your gods now? Oh, yeah, that's right. We friggin' killed them. <laughs> uh, I have foot, 15 foot reach, so I can reach this guy. I'm going to start swinging at that one in the back. All right. I'm going to Don't thrust forget. above memory. Wait, who's in front of me? Memorial's head? Yeah, thrust above Memorial's head and stab at that guy in the back. Okay. 12 does not hit. Damn it. Yeah, I nope. should have reckless attacked. He ducked. <laughs> uh, you aim too high. Uh, Do you have a my... killing? Huh? That's Do that's a bonus like... action. That's oh. a bonus action. Uh I'm okay. Uh as a free action, I'm going to teleport out the acid dragon slayer sword from my hand with my teleporting gloves and have my golden gladius in my hand. The one that uses yeah. money to use. Okay. What's Father Arid yeah, gonna do? Father Arid. He's got a cultist so next to him. He's got here. um he has a potion of speed in his pocket, so I'm not sure if that's a bonus action, free action, or what. So if it's in a quick slot, you can use it as a bonus action. All right, so he'll do that. So he's got he uses bonus action, so he's got potion of speed. So he now is takes the. He's got 19 AC now. Some more haste. All right, and let's see, he's gonna use his extra attack from haste first. I can take those out of order, right? The, the limited attack before I do the the, the my actual sure. action. Okay, mm -hmm. so he's gonna use his limited action uh, against the brawler. He's gonna do. He's got a good AC, so he's just gonna do a regular attack. It's got the roller for chop, but I'm just doing a regular attack All right. rather than a chop attack. So he gets plus nine, I believe. Yeah, plus nine. Good roll. I haven't used this roller yet. So I'm gonna use it a couple times real quick to figure it out. All right, this is my actual roll coming up. Mm, Twenty-five. Miss. Twenty-five misses. 20... Oh, wait, 25? Oh, yeah, I'm looking at the base. Yeah, 25 hits. <laughs> All right. Uh, does he count as a monstrous humanoid? Just a human. Just a regular human. Okay. So 2d6 plus 7 damage. I reroll ones and twos. So <laughs> going to reroll that two. So six, five, and seven, so that's eighteen damage. Alright, you whack him for eighteen damage. Is he still up? He's got uh forty let's see, hang on, thirty nine and eighteen. Uh yeah, that's like forty seven damage. Fifty seven. Fifty seven, yeah, fifty seven can't math today. Alright, 57 damage. He is still up. Alright, he's going to use his... He's hurt pretty bad, so he's going to use his uh, regular action to uh, activate with stand for the battle. Okay. Bonus of saves, damage resistance, that's going to really help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wishes he had that up last time. It would have uh, hurt quite a bit less. And let's see, so that's bonus action. He could move, but uh, he's not going to move. So that is it. Okay. After Father Arid, Leron Lifegiver. Leron Lifegiver! Okay, so Leron. Leron is going to uh, move over to this square over here. 
And I'm going to... Hmm. Just realized I can't do one thing if I do the other. Oh well. Uh, I will hold my... I will hold my action. No wait, I can still do it like this. Yeah, I can still do it like this. Uh, I will bonus action with Scorbeak, uh, cast Hand of Light. Uh, nothing in here is unholy, is it? The undead is. The, uh, and bone the bone devil is. So two. Uh, yeah. Well, I only I only aim at one. I aim at the uh, bone devil. Okay. With uh, un and it's unholy, so huzzah. Armor class nineteen. Twenty-eight. Not quite exceptional, but it hits. Hooray. Uh, it's unholy, so it does an extra 7 damage on top of this, so 16 damage, okay. not a bad roll. And I get, and Scorbeak, not me, gets the Hand of Light buff. I wish I got the Hand of Light buff, but that doesn't work that way. Uh, Laron himself, that was his bonus action. As an action, I'm twinning Eldritch Blast, but I'm readying it, uh, but I'm readying it, okay? Uh, since Scorbeak's turn is immediately after, Scorbeak, as an action, casts the new spell, Smoke Visage, on Leron, granting him heavy obscure, granting him heavy obscurity and ad advantage to hit, and that is when Leron will use the uh, Eldritch Blast on. Um, let's say, I'll leave the undeads for now. I'll focus it on the Uka Crusher, and if he's still alive after the first hit, then I'll direct the second hit at him again. Okay. Uh, as well, I mean, so. First hit with uh, hit the witches. No. Uh, first hit is uh, twenty modified. That'll hit a nuka crusher. Fantastic. Deals ten. Okay. And the second roll is a twenty-eight. Is that a crit? Uh... Key not battle paladin. Is he? No valve. Guess not. No, no battle ballad. Exceptional, though. No critics. Exceptional, huzzah. Deals either... Well, hang on, wait. Second. What was your second attack against? Hmm? Uh, it... Still the Yuka Crusher. Yeah, uh, never mind, never mind. You need a 30 for the exceptional. All right, then the first roll was still going to be 17 anyway, so 17. Okay. So 17 plus 10, 27. Blam, blam. You shoot the summoned crab with your Eldritch Blast. Okay. Um, score All right, Vlad. Uh, Scorbeak already used... He cast the smoke spell on Leron. Houdini. He's going to go over and help Father Arid with this ascended brawler. Okay. All right, Marmorial, you are in the thick of it. Just go straight back to the freaking cultist, dude. The fat <laughs> cultist died. Uh, oh. He was he was defeated uh, in, in... Dang it. ...just a moment ago. <laughs> But you're still here, and there's uh, this ascended brawler that's kicking the shit out of Osiris. If you want to deal with him. Oh wow! Okay. I wanted I wanted to kill the cultist by myself, but all right, I'll, I'll help Osiris out, I guess. He's like he stole my kill, he man. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing so well that time too, Cap. <laughs> no, yeah, help Osiris out. Okay. Do you want to do another flurry of blows? Yeah, I guess that that helped. That did a lot last time. So yeah, yeah, being able to make free attacks is pretty solid. Eventually, you run out of three. key points, but for now, you've only used one so far. Three d six plus three for each. Three d six plus nine. Wait, what? Three d six? No, no, no. You don't one d six. I'm doing the math. If you hit all of them. Ah. Uh. I don't think I hit that time, though. Let me see. I think I got a 10. Uh, yeah. 10's a miss. Let's see your other two yep. attacks. You didn't multi-class into anything, right? You're just like six levels of monk. Yep. Yeah. You actually have plus okay. seven, so we have to add one to each of these. So that's an 11, that's a miss. That's a 13, that's a miss. And what's your third attack? A miss. <sighs> Can I just do a different attack, or is, does it have to be flurry of blows? Um, you can only have three attacks if you do flurry of blows. Okay. 
Okay, that's a hit. That's a 20. D6 plus 3. Uh, Not this again. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a space between the 1D6. And don't forget to yeah. plus 3. Plus three. Oh. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Minimal damage. <laughs> Okay. The, the most minimal you can get out of a flurry of blows. Uh, no, most minimal. I probably could have got it as a one. Yeah, one plus three. Oh, Cirrus. Yeah. You see oh, Marmorial attempt to come to your aid. He gives a tiny little scratch to the enemy. What do you do? <laughs> I want to I take out my gun and shoot it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, shoot me or the... <laughs> <laughs> it's very tempting, but yeah, it's <laughs> like I'm helping, and then you just <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you're not. So, oh, try to help the thief. Oh, serious. Uh, yeah, ranged I mean, weapon attacks in melee range have disadvantage. Do you want to try to back up first? The, um, what, wait, would he get opportunity attack? He would. So your options are back up and maybe get hit, or have a lower chance of hitting, and stay here. Or stab him with melee. Wait, wait, how close is he? He's right in your face. In in five uh, feet melee okay. range. He ran up on you and did that ten hit combo, so he's right there. He used a lot of key points to smack you. <laughs> wait. Um, Alright, so are there any areas in like a like a like clumped up? Like what about those four in the back there? Yeah, I mean they're back there. Are they, are they are they are they all within up. are they all within ten feet of each other? Mm, they are all within five feet yes. of each other. These four witches back here. Uh, okay, okay. I am going to cast cast poison spray. Cask. I'm going to cast poison spray. Poison I know. But sprays from your fingertips in a ten foot radius. Wait, does I have to cat? Does it does it affect the ten foot radius, or is it like people within a ten foot radius? Let's take a look. It says you extend your hand toward a creature you can see within range and project a puff of noxious gas from your palm. That creature and that creature alone must succeed on a con save. Oh, okay. So no, not really. pick your target. Who do you hit? Well, actually, yeah, I want to change that. I want to attack the cultist in front of me with Shocking Grasp. Okay. You cast Shocking Grasp on the cultist beef. Like in front of you. Is that a roll to hit? Um, we can Shocking. Um, yes, and it's a 23. Three damage, though. Oof. Okay, mm -hmm. three damage. Um, Does he have metal armor? Mm, no, nah, these guys are monks. They don't really wear a whole lot of armor. All right. Uh, I also want to. I want to axe and surge. I'm gonna use that now, okay. and I'm gonna. <laughs> what am I gonna do with this second chance at life? Um. Die. <laughs> Die. Disengage. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Shocking Grasp again. No, you can't. He does have. I can't. He, he doesn't have a reaction since uh, he After got the turn, Shocking Grasp, so you turn. can move away from him now and then shoot him. There you go. Back up and fire. That's a good plan. Yeah, I, I wanna. He get an opportunity attack. Do I wanna risk it? No, no, no. Because Shocking Grasp you, negates you it. You Shocking Grasp him. He has no reaction. This oh turn. shit! Yeah, <laughs> I wanna back up. Five feet or ten feet? Um, ten feet. Okay. And then I want to pull out my musket and dome him. Kapow! Fire. Take your shot. Twelve to hit. Twelve is not going to hit. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay. 
All right, so All right. your gun goes oh. off with a bang. Everybody is slightly deafened. <laughs> and I'm... I still have my bonus action left. So you can drink a potion if it's in a quick slot. Do you have any potions in a quick slot that you want to use, like a healing potion or something? I have blood vials. Yeah, blood vials are your healing item of choice, so you should probably drink one of those with your bonus action since you've got, like, 22 damage on you. It's not of choice. <laughs> Wait, when did I... Hold up. I forgot I was a fighter. I can just use second win. You just did. Also, or no, I mean, not second win. You just used action surge. Yeah. Uh, well, th that uses an action, so... Second win is a bonus action. Is it? Yeah. No, well, that's a good one to use. Yeah, I want to use second wind. Okay. Ascended Brawler is going to attack uh, Father Arid. Um, he's got a 24 to hit Father Arid. Ouch. Okay. Second wind is healing, Dan. Yeah. All right. Father Eric takes 20 damage from a flurry of blows. Pop, 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 pop. All right. So he's going to take five less than that because of damage resistance. So that's 16. So he's down to five HP. Damn. He is not happy. He's bleeding everywhere. Okay. Uh, this Ascended Brawler is going to move up on Memorial, and he's going to attempt to grapple Memorial. Uh, he's got... Oh, no. Uh, okay. What do I got to do? 23 to grapple. Uh, so, Memorial, you just got grappled. And... Oh. <laughs> Wait, so so that. this this ascended brawler grabs you and puts you in a in a hold and then this other ascended brawler over here is going to deliver the pain. So he's going to punch you in the stomach with a critical hit. Is the Court. grapple considered an attack? Do I get an attack of opportunity on the grapple guy? Uh, Wait a minute. With your sentinel ability, sure. Yeah, I also get out Sentinel as well, so can I attack him again? Alright, I expend gold from my Gladius and attack. 15 does not hit. Can I use my Sentinel feet and attack that as well, or am I not in range? Hang on a second. Uh, as a free action, later on remarks, such a waste things. of precious, precious coin. Yeah. <laughs> How does, like sound? does he just straight up sound like a mad guy? What? This, this, like, this Leyron just straight up just sound exactly like you. I try not to, but I'm really bad with his accent. He's meant to be, like, really rich, uh, really English and noble, but I don't know how to play that. <laughs> <laughs> 42 damage. Alright, and then, uh, and then oh, I okay. attack the guy that's also attacking and spend more gold. Alright, hang on a second. So... Let me let me think this through. So it was my turn. The ascended brawler moved in to grapple. Uh, he successfully grappled, and then you had opportunity attack. So first, I used my regular opportunity attack on the ascended brawler that was attacking the father Erd, uh, and then I used the gold to attack the one that's grappling uh, Memorial. And then I'm also using another gold charge to attack the one that is doing damage to Memorial. Okay. And I rolled a 27 to hit the one that's attacking. So the one against Father Arid, roll some damage on that. Is 27 exceptional? It is. Okay. Uh, this is... Oh, almost max damage. Okay, that's not better. So 13 points of damage. Wait, Ninja. Quick question. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, go on, say it. Go ahead. No, you go first. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quoting you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I thought you actually had a question. Wait, Ninja, if, I have if, a if question. Spell... Hey, Ninja, quick question. <sighs> if a spell enters, it, like, this is, if a spell says, do, like, do I have to specifically enter? Like, if a spell says if someone enters 60 feet, do they have to specifically enter six feet, or does it? Do they have to be within six feet and make a movement? <sighs> Depends what spell you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, burning hands. Wait, no. Am I talking about burning hands? Hold up. Hey, man. Like two coding. more attacks. Let's go. 
Wait, what? You attacked three times. Attack that was only your first one. It's not his turn. This, 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 this is where attacks of opportunities. This is not my haste. I'm not attacking. This is not my turn. It's their turn, right? Didn't you say you make three attacks of opportunity? No, no. Uh, I made an attack of opportunity on this guy, and then I used gold to attack this one, and I made use another charge of gold to attack that one. Yeah, well, I've only I've only done this one so far. We haven't missed. we haven't done anything to this. So this one missed, and this one missed. The first beast, this one missed on that one, the first one that was attacking Father Aird, and then the one that was doing the grappling, which I think was this one, right? That one missed on that one, and then I hit the third, the one that was attacking Mamre. Uh, no, that's not what I did. Oh. All right, well, let me take the damage off this one. 70, what was it, 12 damage? 11 damage? 13, 13 damage. So let me put him back to 57. Okay. All right, let's start over. So you attacked him and you missed? Yes. You attacked him and you hit? No, I missed. You missed I, that I, one I too. missed the first two targets, yeah. So then you attacked this one and you hit for? Correct. 13? 13 damage. 78. Okay. So attack of opportunity, attack of opportunity, attack of opportunity. Um. He-Man, roll five DC thirteen wisdom saves. Oh, what? what? <laughs> no, right. DC fourteen. DC fourteen. Oh my! Five DC. Five of them. Okay. Bye. Uh, uh, oh. Fail. Okay. Okay. Uh, wait, you said DC what? Fifteen or? Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, so I passed three, failed two. Okay. So the two that you failed. Are they gonna turn human against stress us? Stress damage. Oh, he's stress damage, right? These cultists do. I mean, if they have crown of madness or something. We'll see. We'll see. What does the DM have planned? All right, thirty-nine stress for He-Man. Oh, just Ooh. stress. Ooh. I'm at forty-eight. All right, so that's all five of my witches. That was quick. Um, and I did all three of my ascended brawlers. So now I've just got creatures. Um, I don't think I have any stress reducers. No, I don't. Mm, Mad God, how high up are you? Uh, I'm about, about 10 feet off the ground. All right. Well give or take. I'm, I'm, a, I'm one person above the ground. Uka Crusher squeezes in underneath you. Okay. And then it attacks upwards with reach. Memorial was here, though. It's squeezing. It's in those two squares next to Memorial. So he has disadvantage. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it can't occupy another creature's space. It's not. And an and enemies. Yeah, it is. It's using more, more memorials. And, oh, you mean it's squeezing in this... Squeezing into the wall. Between the wall. Right. Okay. Does that help? Yes. <laughs> Oddly enough, yes. Does he man get like reaction on that? Object uh, attack. He using yeah. it. I'd assume so. Using set Well, Damn he's got the he's gold sword charge. that lets him burn charges to keep doing it. Yeah. I'm keeping track of how many charges there are. That will run out eventually. Okay. Do you want to do will. another one? All right. Yeah. It pings uh, off the thick does carapace. Not. Does not cut through. All right, so Mad God, the Uka Crusher can only attack with one of his two attacks. Uh, okay. It's um, remember disadvantage. Disadvantage with plus six. Uh, oh, I rolled a three. Oof. So he oh. he tries to reach up at you. His snap snapping pincer claws as he reaches up at you. Snap snap snap. Uh, it does yep. does a whole lot of nothing. Um, but his claws are too damn thin, and he keeps. Grabbing at air and smoke and fog. Let's see. I think uh, Bone Devil's got reach. He's going to attack from here at Rikaril. Uh, Rikaril, you've got three attacks coming in. Uh, the Bone okay. Devil claws you twice. Um, I rolled terrible on that. So let's see. He's got plus eight. That's going to be a 13 and a 10. Both of those miss. Yep. Uh, and then he tries to bite you, and his bite, a three? God damn it. 
So that's an 11. That missed also. Um, Are those threes? <laughs> uh, all right. The bone captain moves to here. And he's going to smash his mace into the ground super hard over and over and over again. Smash, 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 causing the whole room to shake. Uh, everybody make a DC 12 con save if you're within 20 feet of him. Do I have to do it? I'm literally flying. Uh, yes. It just says all within 20 feet must make a DC 12 con save or 13. be stunned. Uh, 14. Oh, okay. for stunning effect. Okay, yeah, I have Wolver's Flag. I just passed. Yeah, <laughs> if you have something that gives you a bonus against stun, it'll apply to this. Is it's all over 20 feet over here? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Yep. What kind okay. of save is it? It is a constitution Con. save against stun. Oh, no. DC what? It is 12. DC 12. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Nice. Here I thought I'd be attacking. I don't think I'm going to be attacking. Oh no, lesser frustration doesn't apply. Blinded, deafened, paralyzed, or prone. You're Did not paralyzed, you're stunned. Oh no. Do you have a stun ring you can give me? Let's spawn one of those in. Stun ring? What's a stun ring? I'll just copy your invisibility one then. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, you mean a status effect ring? Yeah, yeah, I've got one. Just give me a sec. <laughs> uh, Zolder passes. Don't use the invisibility ring. There you go. Father Eric. That's a bit big. Then make it small. Oh, yeah. Father Eric, it was 12, <laughs> correct? Yeah, DC 12. Yeah, it's all right. Zolder and Father Air both pass. Oh, don't spawn too oh, many. Ah! The stun oh, ring yeah. destroys the dark altar. Everyone gets their plus two to hit or whatever it is removed. <laughs> Houdini failed. Oh yeah, I should probably do one for Scorbeak. Uh... Yeah, that sort of works. Actually, it was within 20 feet, right? Of of what? This creature right here. He actually ended up stunning a bunch of his allies. <laughs> that kind of sucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I moved Scorbeak to... Oh, right. so it's, it's yeah. all creatures? It's not just all enemies? Whoops. Apparently. He hits the ground and it says, all within 20 feet must make the save or be stunned. Aww. How, how long for? Uh, it's a turn. One one turn of stun. My bird is I, stunned. I've got enough in me for one more round of combat. I'm going to have to call it a night, guys. Okay. Right. But you won't make it to the second floor. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but it's, it's almost a night. I've got to work. Let's try to hurry this along. All right, so uh, where were we? That was the cult. So new initiative. You should make the new initiative without the counters for. Wait, is my Scorbeak the only one that was stunned from that out of this party? Okay, I'll put Scorbeak away. Was oh. anybody else stunned? Nope. No. It's combat. No. Zelda. Okay. You're first. Um, uh, Zolder's gonna look at the very poor condition of Father Arid and uh, cast weird reconstruction on him. Father Arid has the Cruz Bell, which increases all heals he receives by four. Nice. So, yeah. all right. So fourteen. Not a not a great heal, but it it'll help. And 
Soldier doesn't really have any bonus actions that he can do other than move. And it's plenty crowded in there. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it for... Uh... Okay. Recruit, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to go over to um this guy right here. Actually, no, that's... Um, this guy right here. You can just stab him. That's a 16 to hit. Uh, they, 16 misses. They're automatically crits, right? Yeah, let me know, look no. up what you a have, stun does. Uh, no, you have a attack. Uh, you have advantage on attack. A stun creature is incapacitated, can't move, can't speak, uh, automatically fails. Strength rolls, attack rolls against the creature have advantage. I'm thinking about unconscious as critical hits. Alright, so yeah. the next one, next attack, the second one is a 22, 6, uh, 12 damage. Okay, 12 damage. Which one did you hit? Um, this guy. Alright, uh, 70, 88. Alright. So badly wounded. That's it. He's got, he's got two hit points left. <laughs> okay, so Rikaril makes an attack, and then uh, He-Man Bubs. What do you do? I'm going to snap my fingers and bring back my Acid Dragon Slayer Sword and activate it with the Grusroda magic words. Shring. And, uh, use. Uh, I'm going to reckless attack him. Uh, even though he's already on the uh, stand, so it's a uh, twenty-nine hit. Shh, Is this uh, the one with only two hit points left? Yes. Okay. He dies. And then I'm going to attack the one on his left that's also stunned. Twenty-four to hit. Okay. Roll some damage. It's a, uh. Uh, this is 24 right. points of damage. He does. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to attack the one that's still in front of Father Erd. That is a 15 hit. Actually, wait, does he, is he stunned? Or no? He's not stunned. No. A 15 does not hit. Okay. Uh, fourth attack, 26 hit. Is that... Uh, not exceptional, is but it? it hits. Okay, not exceptional. Okay, uh, 27 points of damage, and since I killed one of them, I have a bonus attack to attack again. 16 does not hit. Okay. Oh, he's real close. Uh, Six hit points uh, left. Let's see. Can I move anywhere? Mm, unlikely. <laughs> you are packed in there tight. This room is just a I was wondering if I could move... Squeeze to move here, and then can I wait? No, I don't have another action. Never mind. Yeah, technically you can try squeeze. To solo and like, get to the witches. It's a lot of rough point. terrain, but yeah, you can squeeze in there. And this is also a hard corner, so I can't. Okay, never mind. It's fine. I'll stay there. All right, Layron. Yes. That crab is snapping at you. What do you do? That's a nasty crab. I'm just imagining the Mr. Krabs theme. He wants to make a Krabby Patty out of you. What's the secret ingredient? Layron. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I, I steal all of Memorial's kills that are stunned in front of him. Right. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> this is my only time to shine. Memorial's doing a combo to its abdomen, and meanwhile, he man just swings his sword and cuts his head off over over top. <laughs> All right, so the Uka Crusher. I've been quite lenient. I mean, come to think of it, I could have stunned quite a lot of things in this room. I just didn't. Should I do it now? I could have stunned a lot of things and did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's still there's still what? Oh, one witch in the back that's that probably has low con to 
get stunned. Or actually, I don't know. What's this save for your stun? Is it also constitution? 14 wisdom. Nah, this oh, wisdom. A... Okay, never mind. Probably don't stun a witch with wisdom. That's not a real one. Or I can remove oh. a secret. Eh, what needs to be seen? I'm gonna... Soften up the crab for Mormoreal to punch. I'm not letting Mormoreal... Marmoset. I'm going to... Huh? Marmoset. Marmaduke. Marmalade. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia Figaro. Mamma Mia well, what I'd really like to do is to cure the stun- oh no, wait, no one else was stunned, so it doesn't matter. All right. Okay, so I am going to, um... Boy, that attack backfired. <laughs> Let me just make sure of something, so... Four, right, the third level, and I've already... Okay, so... I have got Guiding Bolt charged in one of in my Ring of Spell storing, right? It's charged up to third level because I asked the bishop to put it in, okay? Since the, since it's a third level spell, then I can therefore twin it for an amount of spell uh, spell points equal to the level. So if I exp ex expand all of my three sorcery points, then I can twin the Guiding Bolt that's in the ring, okay? Okay. Right. right. I'm going to aim this Guiding Bolt uh, well, the two of them. One of them at the uh, Bone Captain, and the other at the Bone Devil. All right. So, uh, I get advantage because I'm shrouded in smoke. Uh, where is my table? Where is my table? It is over here. Okay. So, uh, aim for the Bone Crusher first. Oh, these are using the old rollers. Uh, 26 okay. to hit. Is that an exceptional? He's probably dead. Really? Yeah, he only had like 45 hit points. Really? And he already oh, had 30 boom. damage on him. Ooh, I didn't know that. Okay, whatever. Uh, deals... 20... only 21. Right. Uh, 21 damage. 21 to the Bone Devil, who is considerably stronger. Um, that puts him at 69. That's what she said. Ooh, la, la. Is he not dead? He's got 142 hit points. You said he had like forty-two. No, no, no. The the bone devil. No, that was the bone. No, not the devil. The the, the, the like, undead captain had forty-five armor. hit points. The yeah. bone devil has like one hundred and forty-two. Right. Okay. He's so I was way only... stronger than this undead thing here. So I only had to roll damage once. Okay. Um. Right. So I didn't make you roll on this one because he had so few hit points that I assumed he would die. Oh, but I wanted to roll. I mean, uh, you, you can go oh. ahead and roll it. Nah, the fun's been taken out of it now. Uh, anyway, thank, and I blame you for it. I'm uh, just, I'm trying devil. to save time, and you're making it take longer. <laughs> Never. Uh, I can't use my bonus action because Scorbeak's uh, down. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's fair. Okay. So, um, hmm, the cultist. So. Her stun goes away. Her stun goes away. Two, not her. Her stun. God damn it. She goes away. <laughs> she flies out the window on her witch's broom. Okay, so stunned, stunned. These two are going to hit uh, He Man with another DC uh, 14 wisdom save. Oh boy. Okay. Four of them. Uh, pass. Fail. All right. So. This time, she gave you 18 stress. Oh, whoa. From one shit person. They do 46 stress damage each time they do that. And last time it was 8d6, because right. two of them hit you. This time only one of them hit you for 4d6. Um, and then the Ascended Brawler here with a few hit points is going to try to hit Rikaril. Uh, so he attacks with a 22 to hit. And it's Ricaril, you just got pummeled. I would like to point out how funny that is. Fifteen damage. <laughs> damage. Right. 
15 how's it, how's damage. So this Ascended Brawler does a series of spinning kicks to Rikuril's face. And then uh, the Bone Devil's going to move here. I'll Wait, call him bright yellow so that you know that you have advantage Wait, to hit uh, the fuck. When it the Ascended Brawler attacked Rikuril? Yeah. Wait, when okay, is... uh, I'll use my attack of opportunity to hit. Wait, when is my turn coming up? Mm, uh, right now we're on Cultus, hit. so you're after Father Arid after Cultus. That hits, you kill. Uh, 31 points of damage. You take his head off. So he got punished for attempting to hit Rikuril. <clears throat> mm. Well, for hitting Rikuril. <laughs> um, all right, so then this one moved in here. Um, the Bone Devil... Uh, Rikuril, you're going to be a punching bag. The Bone Devil makes two claw attacks against you. Um, All right. He's got plus eight, so that's a 19 and an yes. 11. They both miss. And then he tries to bite you, and the bite is a 13, which misses. Uh, um, Marmorial. Are you there? What's up? Marmorial, yeah. the Uka Crusher next to you, with disadvantage, attempts to slam his big fat claw down on you. Uh, Wait, that guy, uh, that guy, that, that guy right there, the Uka does right a there. Does a 14 hit you, Marmorial? I guess not, right? Your armor uh, class is higher than that. Wait, wait. Yeah. I'm 16. 16? All right. So it tried to hit you yeah. with its big claw, and then it swings its other claw at Mad God. Um, yeah. With disadvantage. Uh, oh, I would have crit on that. Damn it. The other dice ah. was a three, so that missed. Um, ah, my fable three. And I've got one more stun on this witch, which ends. And Can I use you know? Ninja. The swine to do anything. The Hello? swine to hang on a second, hang on a second. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. The swine to goes to here. Mm. Actually, he's gonna he's gonna get up in here. All right, and I wanna do I'm gonna give him the dodge action. So disadvantage to hit him. All right, so I think that's all of my creatures, which means Father Arid. Oh, I was gonna say I want to use the Sentinel feed to attack the crab. He didn't move though. Yeah, reach. Yeah, he made an attack against a creature within five feet of me. Wait, no, the, oh, the creature, wait, you're sorry, the sorry, creature within not, five feet of me. The crap within five feet of me made an attack against a creature that wasn't me. That's part of Sentinel as well. Uh, yeah, alright, alright. Make your attack. Armor class 20, though, he's hard to hit. Alright. Oh, no, wait, it's 18. Man, I, I should space this out better. That is poorly worded. It's 20 foot movement. That goes below here. 18 AC. I was giving him too much AC. Did you hit? Um, natural 20. Ooh, 16 damage. You got yourself a crit. 16 damage. Um, he dies. Oh, okay. Trash relief. Trash relief? Was that with your sword? No, that you was like my stealing sword. sword. Nine uh, stress uh, uh, relief for others. Uh, nine stress relief for you. I, I lost nine stress? Yeah. Alright. Alright, so where were we? Father Arid, right? Padre, yep. what nine do you do? Alright, hold on. Hold on, just doing this best skill real quick. Oh, I was really hoping we'd finish this room so I could do something. Nope. Sorry, guys. It's fine. We understand. Um, I think see. I might just have all of the uh, Ascended Witches cast Harikiri. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, this swine tour here has got to be... Uh, a monstrous humanoid, right? He ceases like, to exist. 
All uh, of the witches kill themselves, and then all of the summoned creatures disappear. Ah, oh, that's a uh, surprise. Uh, in in the mirror at the back of the room. All right, pay attention no. now. Pay attention. So it's in the plot. in no. the mirror at the back of the room, the entire room is reflected, and the reflection shows all of the all of the dead who have just sacrificed themselves and and let out a death rattle as as their souls leave their bodies and. Uh, so in the reflection, the the fat cultist priest, the fat cultist priest, stands back up. Boss battle. What? The one that we just killed. The one yeah. that you just killed. His reflection stands back up and disrobes, and he doesn't look like a fat cultist priest. He looks like, dun dun dun, oh, no. the ancestor. It's him. Holy shit, what? The ancestor standing in the mirror, he he raises his hands up and begins to laugh. A sinister laugh. And wait, then wait. and then in in the mirror, he and all of you guys all walk out of the room. So you're looking into a mirror and you no longer see any of your reflections. Whoa. Wait. Wait, did we see our reflection? I didn't we'll sign up for this. Yes, so the the, uh, the ancestor made mirror copies of everyone. And now has a copy of each one of you to fight you with. No. I don't want to hey, fight He-Man. Hey, hey, I don't want to fight He-Man. I don't care about any of y'all. I can body every other, other one of y'all, but He-Man is no. So ninja, Ninja, I am so excited for this. This is the first time I've been excited for this in a while. You're the worst friend. I hope you know that. <laughs> I so your so the, 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 the power <laughs> the power of the ancestor is a reflective power. So he can make copies of himself. He can make copies of you. Ninja, no homo, that is actually like, a really dope power. No <laughs> this is some. I was thinking this was going to be a power that the collector was going to do. But... Mm, that's a good one too. Um, okay. Wait, but this is very much like Legend of Zelda, where Zelda has to, or Link has to fight Dark Link. Yeah. 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 The mirror you clone of yourself. Can we get like a hammer? So cool. The hammer will immediately beat him. All right. So this now, so, cool. so now you've had a glimpse of the final boss, dun dun dun, and and what he's got in store for you. All right. I'm gonna have to get a lot of better weapons. Yes. Well, to actually, no. If you just like, I will be better than I was when you copied me. <laughs> Wait, are we gonna yeah. leave the dungeon and come back and then fight ourselves? You could. If you want to okay, go back to town, that? you could come back. But you've got to have the exact copy of how but, we are now, not how yeah, not, not our are when we come back. So if we go prepared, we can... Because if we respecify ourselves for, like, killing ourselves, then... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, that's what my build was made for. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... I mean, I all I gotta do is just pour uh, water on myself and I'm good. Have you thought of, like, maybe you kill someone else? No, I want to 1v1 myself. Right. No. Just going through the same, they're going to do the same moves as you. I want to kill this character. So, this room has a bunch of cool treasure in it. Um, but I haven't generated it yet, so I'm going to have to do that during the week. <laughs> uh, yeah. I volunteer as tribute to take most of the treasure. So, uh, <laughs> so we, can, we can save it here, and then we'll do all the, the loot dividing next week, and then you can venture either back to town or into the second level of the darkest dungeon down those, those So, no stairs. one else is excited. Fight a version of themselves. No one. I think well, they should no be one. horrified. Do you really want to fight He Man? I want to. Do you really want to fight, really fight He Man? So the best part of this is like when the fight myself. happens. <laughs> when the fight happens, I'll say evil He Man attacks, and then I'll I'll have He Man. I'll have Long roll the attack against whoever I want. The evil He Man. Oh God. Am I the oh, oh God. Like well, kill oh, people. God. Hey, I'm going to go. <laughs> Thank you, Ninja. Right. See, Rico. Hey. Thank Mad Guy. Just think, just Mad think about Guy. 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 You're kind of no. I'm very no. excited. Fireballs coming from Dark no. Dark Zelda. No. No. Guys, guys, uh, I am not, not intimidated. And then, and then a bunch of web spells from his wand everywhere. So excited. Holy burning boy. That's gonna be a tough fight. <laughs> I, I can't express how excited I, I am mean, about saying it's, I'm excited. Oh yeah. No. I, I expect AoE and it works great against the enemy, but it also works great Am I the them. only one that doesn't want to do this? I've been I've been that sitting on that idea way. for two weeks and I'm so happy to bust it out. I didn't want to wait until next week, so I had to kill all of my witches so that I could do it. <laughs> I'm very, very happy. <laughs> Guess what? 
That, that's well, that's the, the uh, great bottom. Way, that's a great way to next right. Good night, guys. No, right. good. See you. Thanks for all show up next uh. session. <laughs> that's also an easy way to balance the encounter against how strong you are. <laughs> I'm not strong though. Well, it depends. He's only able to get molly whopped. Whoever gets Memorial is going to have the easiest fight of their life. Mm. For real. <laughs> Sick burn. <laughs> And not a burn, it's the truth. <laughs> that's that's why that's why I said we should all fight the version of ourselves. And then and then he just uses all his key points and slaps you. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. I have a question. Are we, are we Actually, going to go back to town? No, Ninja, Ninja, can I make Memorial's character? Please, can I min max him as I would min max it if any other character? <laughs> hey, if you want to help him build his character out, by all means. Do it in DMs, set it all up, make his character great. <laughs> You're going on Man Max Memorial. <laughs> Go on, let me. It's like it's yeah, it, we we go to town and it's like okay. You can guys, work that out between you two. That's fine. Because, well, to be fair, to be fair, Mad Guy, ten, he technically has three weeks of downtime because he didn't show up for the last two weeks. So you have three weeks to get him to tip top. I'll get him to tip top condition. Why not? Three weeks isn't is, enough time. What is he? The, he's a sixth level monk. What subclass? He's a six, uh, no subclass. What? Shut the. F <laughs> of course, you have a subclass. Right, Mad guy. Everyone no, gets a subclass at level three, so you would have one. Oh crap! Uh, so I could just make a subclass. I don't know. Uh, if you look at the monk entry, it gives you three options, and then if you look at the uh, the new book, there's like a couple extra options in there too. And I haven't this really looked at it. fighter. Because he was supposed to be a dog, the dog tamer thing person. I don't know what it's called. Oh, that's just that's the darkest dungeon class. But in D and D, like monks, Wait, I have just, a question. they have. You guys a mentioned class. this earlier. Who's Doctor Grizzly? Do we know that guy? Mm -hmm. oh, uh, that was me. Uh, that's you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that memorial yeah. guy seems OP. I keep the ancestor showed up. I got slightly erect, and then you said he made. Me <laughs> and then later, I got even more erect. <laughs> All right, it's been a good stream. That's good. Thanks to everybody out in Twitch land. Anybody got a uh, final word for Twitch before I sign off? I'm I gonna, to I'm gonna destroy me, myself. Man. Hold on, hold on. Don't I'm gonna it. literally obliterate myself with one hit. Quote me on that, bitch. Quote me. I cannot wait to kill all of my allies. All right. like? <laughs> I'll be back again Swift on me. Saturday. So join me again on Saturday, and then this game will continue next Wednesday. Wait, I got an idea. Can I kidnap my evil self and then like? Say, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have an idea. Can I make out with my evil self? <laughs> no, I said can I uh... make out with my evil self?